Welcome back, Cardboard Addicts, to another beautiful episode with some beautiful people. I'm really just talking about me, but uh, you know, I'm here. I'm, I'm Ren. I'm here with uh, all the guys here. We got uh, suit on, swaggy suit on. <laughs> I, I don't know any, any words that start with Z for you. Xylophones so in. Which and we have notes. Grumpy. Uh, grumpy. Hey. There's a, you can do like, like some sort of allergy meds, you know. Yeah, Zizel. Zizel. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> Zyrtec. 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 Anyway, hey you Zyrtec, if you're watching this. Me. Guess what? You could sponsor us. Listen, if they sponsor us before Taco Bell does, I'm going to be disappointed. I mean, I don't. Could care. you imagine I, if I every episode Zyrtec, so. we got to start it off with like a Doritos Locos taco in a Baja Blast? That would be yeah. glorious. I mean, that's just never like, going to happen. No, 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 no. I mean, especially with us in four I different mean, places. Sudan even Sudan even boycotted them for like three months because they never they didn't sponsor us. That was probably like half a week. Two weeks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say it definitely wasn't Two that long. <laughs> well, then he was talking about he was talking about it for like three months. Yeah, he then. made the threat. Right. And then was like, he's, I'm not he's sitting there talking about it. The and I'm like sip, sipping on my Baja Blast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his boycott <laughs> didn't line with ours. Anyway, I'm glad it only <clears throat> took about two and a half seconds to get derailed on that already. So, hey, welcome oh, everybody. Yeah. Welcome. We have some really good stuff to talk about hey, today. Interjection, real quick. I'd like to say we <laughs> hope you like this video. You should like it right now. Subscribe if you're new here. Don't worry about all the drama that may be going around with us. We're really good people. Continue with the news. <laughs> There's no drama. Depends on who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> There's no drama. Just no idiots drama. being idiots. No drama, Happens. but you know, we've got some nostalgics news, which you know everybody's excited for. It's probably the best thing on the episode today. <laughs> um, but there's some Pokemon news. And, uh, you know, Funko news. Also, hey. Did you say Funko news or Funko news? <laughs> God. There's, there's the explicit Funko. content. Funko, yes, yes. No, I don't even. Isn't, wait, hold on. Isn't Funko one of the characters in that, uh, uh, this what is it? This enlightened or something like that. There's a there's a show on Netflix. It's like an animation animated show. I don't watch. Netflix. And it's like it's it's by the people that make like um what is it Matt Gronin or whatever. He he's the creator of it. Oh, he's, yeah. disenchanted. Yeah, yeah, disenchanted. That one. I don't know. I haven't seen. I it. think. Oh, okay. No. There's comment an elf down below if you know what he's talking about. There's an elf called Fucko. <laughs> I'm gonna take your word for it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know what the fuck are you talking about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Whatever. Congratulations, yeah. 700 subscribers. Thank you all. Oh, yeah. 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 Milestone. Yeah. When we get to a thousand, suit on shaving his eyebrows. <laughs> no, no response. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for something. Yes. I thought the there acceptance had finally hit him. You know, it's just like funny? Joe Biden. We're just repeating the same. We're going to hit. Over we're going to hit a thousand, and all of a sudden it'll drop back to nine nine ninety nine because Sudan will be like unsub, <laughs> unsub <laughs> like, all my accounts. I'm gonna Anyways. if that if that happens, I'm they, creating an account called Sudan two point just to resubscribe. <laughs> Sudan, I'm gonna go retired. take that freaking screen name now so you can't. <laughs> Listen, and thank you guys over numbers. on the Spotify side, no longer Anchor. Thank you guys for listening as well. Yes. yes. Thank you All to right, everybody. Who Bring us the news. Us. Bring us the news. All right. Finally. Well, <laughs> let me start the whole screen share business here so that we. What the fuck, though? <laughs> that right. way we can get into some get, nostalgic news. Get it on Discord. And I'll put oh, it on. There we go. Okay. Gotcha. Ren's still yeah. learning how to use the. Yeah, look, this shirt. is all new to me. I'm I'm not the guy here. So. He's apparently operating on one screen. So if you want to, if you want to donate him a screen, <laughs> Listen, please right. ask for Ren's address. <laughs> we're we're gonna start him. We're gonna start him one of those like, GoFundMe so he can get a second. I monitor. didn't realize that you know having only one computer screen meant I was still in the Stone Age, but apparently to some people, yeah, dude's still playing Oregon podcast. Trail, wondering yeah. wondering what's all right. Listen, all about. don't don't. <laughs> 
hate on Oregon Trail because that game. Oregon Trail is a fun game, and they just yeah, released I do a new love, version. Of I it. love Oregon Trail. They made it into Listen, a show too. It's called 1883. They made it into Although, a handheld device, so you can find that at yes. Target. But uh, not 1883 is canceled. Now it's 1920 something. Well, yeah, it's because they're showing all the history. But yeah, go on. Anyways, okay. On. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we are over here on the Nostalgics Discord. This is uh, the best spot to get all Nostalgics news for those interested. But um, first thing we can see up on here, I see Sudan's popping up on my Discord. <laughs> um, we've got the Nostalgics Play Network. Now this is kind of like the the thing we may have even talked about it before, but this is the thing that like when you go to your LGS and you play like an official tournament of Pokemon or Magic or something like that, um, it's what registers your points and kind of keeps track of like worldwide rankings and all that. So worldwide. the N Gem is as it's called is finally up, and Nostalgics League is actually scheduled to start at by the end of this month. So uh, nostalgic's making some uh, waves in the the game. Is it going to be the Snyder Cut or nice. the actual like real version of the of the Nostalgics League? It's going to be it's the real deal. So hey. LGS is and players can sign up right now if you go to play.nostalgicstcg.com. Have you signed uh, up? Then? I did. I signed up in like the first five minutes. It was available <laughs> hey look at that now did your, did your battle against uh mj at the collecticon count as an official match it did not it did not uh, which you know it's it's a shame but um i still have my memories of that event <laughs> um the the armageddon slaughter that happened there wow. which i did not lose i just want to reiterate once again that i did not lose a single time to mj with a certain deck so hey yeah, yeah, she's she's probably Cat still. Picture it didn't card. happen. Well, he's it, got, you he's got what? the remnants of a card that she apparently yeah. ripped in half, oh, right? I have it. I have it right here. <laughs> yep. I keep this handy on me all times. So, <laughs> he shows up I with do. his deck and then puts that down too, just so if she walks around, she sees it. it yep. You know, maybe maybe next time I meet her again, that uh, I'll have her sign it too or something, but. You don't um, meet her once. <laughs> I mean, after that, you just see her again. You don't meet her again. Sure. You know, like see her, meet her at another convention. It don't matter. You you get the gist. I don't know. I don't just. Okay. Well. <laughs> anyway, moving on. This is important right here. This little picture. If you guys cannot tell, or if you're on the audio side only, this is a small capture of the texture that is coming Ooh. to um, like the the hyper rares essentially of nostalgics. So hey, all the void cool. rares wow. and the gold cards will now have um, oh, texture on man. it that was actually hand mapped. So Zaba and Jen and uh, the, that whole team literally drew out all of the texture for every single card. Now, are they still going to have the same hollow scheme with that? Or are they changing yes. the hollow patterns? Okay. Um, I don't know if the hollow pattern like for the holographic cards are is going to be the same or different. I imagine it's going to be the same, but they're going to do the whole like um, holographics and then void rares and then gold cards. So sounds pretty cool. Sounds but pretty cool. Voids and gold should have the texture on here that you guys see. Sounds time consuming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It honestly, it took them quite a while. He was, he's talking about in the discord a little bit that it took quite a while to hand map all that, but um, probably the biggest thing of news for Nostalgics right now is they officially set June 2nd as the release date for Harmonic Surge, the second set in Nostalgics TCG. And, and you get to uh, send us that for my oh, birth nice. anniversary? That would be really cool. Maybe, if you ask them nice enough. <laughs> May hey, I mean, look, if you start up a, a little league at your game store, your LGS, then maybe... I can't will. do little league. I'm an adult now. Well... <laughs> that's too bad i guess um yeah, there will be bad. some launch parties by the way for all this it, i know there's at least going to be the one in minnesota where zaba and his team are are you committing to going yet rin um if i can't get one myself in my area then i might be going to minnesota it's not for sure, sure i forgot you've been starting up a little uh soiree of people at your local spot yeah honestly it's growing faster than i kind of anticipated um i'm kind of poaching all the pokemon players right now if i'm being honest <laughs> but it's working and they all keep coming back to play every week so like this last week 
I had just as many Pokemon players playing Nostalgics with me as there were actually Pokemon people. So, you know what would be cool, Ren, is if you could start live streaming some of those events as kind of yeah, like a, yeah. a cool setup, like those top-down setups. That'd be cool. That'd be I awesome. actually have some plans for stuff like that. I just I need to get some more equipment and better equipment. Better, yeah, for sure. I mean, this man's still working off one screen. How are you going to operate all of that off one screen? It's, Listen, you have the one screen. Is it <laughs> cathode ray tube? Like, is it one of the just like it's still got like the back to it? No, no, buddy. It's, it's, it's the old box TV. It is. It's not that old. It's not He's old. using coaxial to get it into the back. Honestly, though, you are dating yourself because I guarantee you half the people watching this podcast no, probably don't no, even remember yeah. that. I'm the oldest one here. Of course, I'm dating myself. Nobody Fun else fact, will date though, me. I don't know if you guys know, but those <laughs> those computer monitors and the, even the TVs, the big tube TVs, um, with all the gas that they had in the back with the, the bulbs and everything, if you crush them in like a garbage truck or something like that, they explode, like big time explode. Because you know what else crush? explodes yeah. really big time is a full can of WD-40 in a fire. <laughs> yeah. You know what, what else explodes? Me after eating a lot of dairy. Well, that's <laughs> true, too. We've, we've heard this a lot. Jesus. All right. Anyway, um, if you have an LGS that is looking to get into Nostalgics or you want to bring Nostalgics to them, uh, they've got this nice little like welcome package and promo material that you can get hooked up with by Zaba, um, including this poster and some other promotional type of materials. But they're in the, the whole LGS growing phase right now, which I think is fantastic. But we got a spoiler card here. From set to harmonic surge, and this honestly, this is a game changer card. I'm gonna be honest now; it's gonna change the the meta here. But uh, who can tell me what this is in reference to? This picture. I have the high ground. Yes, I knew Sudan was gonna be my man. I thought Zen would be the first one to get it, though. What is it from? He doesn't like Star Wars. It's from oh. Star Wars. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of like a whole little reference to the Anakin and Obi Wan fight. What was it in Mustafar? On yep. Mustafar, yes. Yes. In the Revenge of the Sith, episode three. Spoiler alerts. Yeah. What yeah. Do you do? Now, yeah spoiler. What to spoiler. Expect. Spoiler. Lost Anakin and... gets burnt. And <laughs> Darth Vader's <laughs> like, hey, Skywalker. Jesus. Oh, this is cool. This is cool right here. Yes, this is the prototype binder. Uh, not the f official full design yet. I think he's still making some tweaks on it, but. There's a big, like, very nice binder coming for Nostalgics 2. I think he said it was like 36 pages. They're all side load. So it's like 360 um, total slots for cards. You can put stuff in, but. I thought you were going to say 360 nice. degree view. Like, you can see it from all different angles. <laughs> and they're like, that's yeah. technological. Yeah. I mean, that'd be good, but I don't think it's, yeah, it's never going to be that good. But um, that is, honestly, that's like the, the quick news roundup. The guys were timing me. They said I couldn't do a, another 40-minute segment here, so. Yeah, no, we don't. We I, don't I just that. don't have the temp temperature to do so. The temperature? Yeah. That's what I went with. I'm not changing it. <laughs> okay. Hey, stick <laughs> but, to your guns. That's all right. <laughs> hey, that's that's pretty exciting for uh, Nostalgics. There's a lot coming. I'm, I'm excited for the next set, to be honest. Um, I, I can't wait. That, that's one thing I think that has uh, that's been I guess crummy for all the new TCGs is obviously they're because they're so new. There's only one thing to collect, so it's like mm -hmm. you're waiting for the next set and then the set after that. So then you have this plethora of things you can go and buy and switch it up with. Um, so that'll be really cool once that comes out. So. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not official yet, but and I think I may have mentioned it once before on the podcast. There's gonna be some stuff where, especially once set two releases. We might get some blister packs and stuff to come our way. Just saying. Look like especially as the, as the podcast. Spinachially? Huh? Us as the podcast would potentially be getting something. I mean, we might. I don't know. But I'm saying, like, anybody who's a fan of Nostalgics, they might be creating a blister pack. Like a, oh. a three-pack blister pack. Okay, that was, that was not very... All right, I see. <laughs> Crumpy. Something yeah. so cheap. Well, the way you said it was like we, and I'm thinking we yeah, is very like misleading. Yeah, I mean, yeah, stuff. we can get some. If Grumpy we just wants a bunch of free them. stuff, you know. Hey, I mean, I'll take free stuff. You know, I love free stuff. <laughs> but I, I also understand. You know, times are tough. I know that's one thing 
for those of you worried about inflation, Zaba, I think, is committing to not raising prices so far. So, yeah. And actually, um, it brings up a good point because on there, I think I just kind of glossed over it a little bit. They made their new, <clears throat> I don't know if it's their new MSRP, but what they're selling all the first edition booster boxes for now is $120 as opposed to $140. I like the sound so of that. He's trying to make it more affordable. And it's so working. I mean, people, Tell them people we sent buying. you. Okay. Give them good reviews or else. Yeah, or else Grumpy is going to come snuggle with you tonight. I will when you're least expecting it, too. <laughs> All right. I think, Santa Claus, I think that at least covers Santa it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Anyway. All right. Well, this episode's over. <laughs> yeah. We got canceled. Good night, everybody. Thanks. Thanks for the, anyway, thanks for the time. The good Pokemon times. Triplet. Beat. Honestly, Spell. I thought it was triple beat this entire time, but I'm we're gonna now need to we're gonna need triple. to zoom in on that. Relax, pal. I'm gonna get there. <laughs> God, you, co you couldn't zoom in on it before you shared. Because I'm gonna do I that. Mean, Jeez, you know, Louise, we're gonna go through each card individually. Relax. Back in my day, when Slow I ran roll, this pal. shit, Slow I only roll, had pal. one screen. Back in my day, when we had two TVs and one screen. Everybody could see the cards. Now they can't that. see the cards. I am not going to lie, though. That is kind of a nice little artwork. It yeah, is. It is. It's I like just wanted to say, artwork. though, the triplet beat is due to, I guess, I'm assuming uh, translation and people not wanting to accept it's triplet because I've seen the triple beat as well. I don't know why, yeah. but whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Um, what is this? Uh, trope. Well, that's a Tropius. card. Tropius? Yes. That one. It's like... Pretty cool. Got the He's banana, the banana chin. Banana chin. Um, yeah, I like I like the way they're going with like these character rares or whatever they're calling mm -hmm. them anymore. I hope this is something that Our never rares. changes, as in yeah. that they never stop doing this. Um, the downfall is I know Zen wanted to touch on this, but I think because of how crazy the arts are getting, the Japanese stuff is becoming so much more collectible. But now that the cards are going to look the same, I kind of wonder if that'll eventually even out or slow down. You're still gonna think... have a difference. Now nah, you're still gonna have a difference in quality. Oh, oh yeah, no, the quality for sure. Oh, Japanese, Japanese is still gonna be more card. Look at that. Better quality. Say that again, Sudo. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this. Seen... Uh, Neon Cactus, because he always gets product earlier than Sorry, everybody Sudo. else, because he's over in China. But or I think he's. I don't know if he's in Hong Kong or Taiwan, but um, yeah. So he gets the stuff earlier, and uh, he opened up uh, Triplet Beat already. And dude, let me tell you, the set looks amazing. The cards are gorgeous. I mean, the thing is, like, the last, like, handful of sets for the Japanese side, and I guess foreign side in general, but, like, they all look amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. that's that's what's kind of concerning. <clears throat> I'm like, I understand why stuff is becoming more collectible, <sighs> but I'm just like, this. is there going to be a point where, like, the, the cost, like, evens out, you know? You need I don't... to get this and send it to Koba, because it makes sense. Yeah, that actually right. would be a cool car to get in the Cobus Light. Yeah, and oh that's, man, that's if they get rid of the glitter lion. <laughs> I like you got the the little Lit Leo down there. Is there three evolutions God. with Lit? Is it? No, it's just the two. Okay. It, that's the male yeah. and female. And then the version. female. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you could tell that. Interesting. Yeah. Good job, guys. Um, we've seen this one. This is the Fue Coco, but now we're seeing the uh, Nacho Head. Yeah, why is this one smaller? I don't like that. Anyways, <laughs> a different uh, upload. Uh, Cro Not as good. Uh, I don't remember this one's name. I feel like, is it Crocolore? I don't care. Uh, I don't know. I like this. Sure <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like it's over here. This snacking as it's eating, <laughs> or uh, snacking as it's going. Here's the the infamous uh, Magikarp. The Honestly, that is a there. really cool art. This is the one that Opossum Bud covered that was going for what, like four or five hundred dollars on eBay, pre-order. Yeah, and then nobody's given to, nobody's given a shit about Magikarp ever, except for maybe Shiny Magikarp. But now all yeah. of a sudden it's like, ooh, Magikarp! Everybody needs Magikarp. The thing is, it's I love this one, art. Yeah. It's an awesome I love this art, art but nice. they it's still also kind of like that uh, the Giratina and what was the other one that was like that where it's like so much going on. Yeah, I'm not saying it's quite the same, of course, Pelican, but yeah. yeah, like I, I mean, I'd love to have this card, yeah. but I certainly, I probably wouldn't pay I mean, more than like ten dollars for it. I pulled the gold Garatina, and I'm like, I don't even know what's happening here. 
you know well, and what's like, weird this is just an art rare like the art yeah. rares are usually relatively easy to get so i'm just like yeah. who hey, bought it for 400 it english yeah, I mean, yeah, the, in English would look cool, too. It'll be $4. Um, <laughs> we can just make fun of the loser who decided to spend too much money on a simple card because, you know, yeah, it makes sense. And you get the game, you buy for 500 go pokey dollars, hey, might as well cool sell the card too. for 500 <laughs> pokey dollars, you know? I really like all these cards. I like this, too. I like the color. Uh, this color gives scheme Harry Potter this. vibes. Yes, getting, yes. I could yes, see it. Yes, it's getting, like... I'm like I'm expecting it's somebody from running by going Revelio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this Tauros artwork is actually kind of cool too. Yeah, I like I that. I like this. Um, this is where Sudan's gonna as... send me these cars and be like, "You're the Tauros man, aren't you?" You are the Tauros, but nah, I, I might keep these ones because <laughs> these these Tauros are thick. You know, no, I still have ones. not played the game. Here's, long enough here's the pooper floating them. in the water. There's a the little the turd in the pool floating. water. <laughs> I actually like this too. I wonder if that like sheen you see there, like the little, uh, like I don't know what it would be. If that's like the yes, uh, it, the hollow. It, it's effect. hollow. Yeah, it's, I, I believe it is. It's a uh, it's a hollow effect. Interesting. Those. That'll look really cool mm -hmm. when uh, in person. Uh, this I don't love this Pokemon, but I actually like this artwork. It's kind of. I think that one's pretty cool. I like it. But that for five band graphics, that's not bad at all. Like no, no it's I didn't, five even, I didn't even realize I was five band graphics. Yeah, so I don't know. That's pretty cool. I guess um, they, they're stepping up their game a little bit. <laughs> I would I would definitely be happy to get this card personally. Um, I don't like this one as much. The, nope. the color scheme too much yellow for me. I don't like. Clowns. I mean, for an EX card, it's, it's oh kind of God, bland. Clown. Um, I don't. Yeah, I mean, you figure. Gator Comparatively, I like like the way they got these little boxy pieces in here and stuff. And I also just like the like pinkish, almost purple. I think the like, color scheme contrast. on this card looks yeah, really like good. Contrast well, but this is just not great with like the yellow and orange. Personally, um, it's because it's like a crocodile clown, and nobody likes. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah, sure. I don't like this one either. You just uh, yeah, I don't. That one's even worse. I don't. Wear, I don't want this. I don't want this. So is this one better than the crocodile clown or no? No, God, it's so rough. I, I uh, would take the crocodile. Clown. Can I? Can I see the crocodile clown again? <laughs> Holy shit, they're both bad. Um. <laughs> oh man, I, I love it. If Decisions. I had to pick one of these, if I had to pick one of these, uh, let me see the other one again. Uh, Leave us your choice in the comments below, please. I don't know. I honestly, I couldn't tell you. I, they both suck. <clears throat> Like like contestant on RuPaul. A, B, or C, man. Just pick one. What is, which one is it? By default, oh, I'm going to go with Wait, five. hold on. A, B, or C? Oh, definitely A, for sure. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, well, I'm this saying one's my, the best, my but listing... I'm talking about the worst. Which Is the worst this one? Yes. This one? No. Yeah, I think so. Oh, the clown so this is the worst. This is, the worst. this is definitely the worst. Oh, Leave man. us your choice down below in the comments, please, or in the chat, whichever. Uh, I'm terrible. going with uh, the... Uh, I can't remember this Pokemon's name. I'm just waiting Trella for that Dirge stupid duck to start the like, doing one. the Macarena or something. Yeah. Whatever it wants to do, <laughs> or, I guess. I don't know okay, what for, he's doing. For, the, for, for, for y'all white, for okay. white, for all white folks, it's Macarena. Now you know what I'm talking about, right? Macarena. For Macarena. most of the people watching it, they didn't see? even know that. Now Ren knows, see? <laughs> all I had <laughs> I to do was change now, the accent. This no, did I, I, I just love. wasn't going to do it. I like this to Dene art. I don't exactly that love is... the whole terrestrialized thing on its head. I don't either, but I do or like her. The... I guess it could be a her. So, where's all right? Is there this is where my my opinions I think are in the minority here. I in the game, I hate the terrestrialized Pokemon thing. I think it's oh, really cheesy and goofy and stupid. But on the cards, I kind of like them. I get, the 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 I get confused by the fact I get confused by the fact that they put it. these shiny marks. This crystal shine. But something about having the little I shiny guess, mark things on there here? kind of go with the fact that it's terrestrialized. Because look at it, look at the body too. You can see it's crystallized. Yeah. The so thing just, is, I that, don't know. It all makes sense. The thing is oh. that, like, if they actually did the whole headdress, hat, or whatever the hell it's called, if they showed the whole thing in the card, it would be cool. But it's cut off in half. It's like, who cares? Like, it's just. It, it looks terrible, in my opinion. Like, True. It, 
you can't see they the whole thing. Brought it down. What is the point? The car too. Yeah. Especially for such a small Pokemon. Like. Yeah. I mean, like Gyarados, you can only see like a little piece of it. Like, I, there's sure. just no point in it, in my opinion. Like, sure. it doesn't make sense. Uh, I'll just, give you that. I don't. I don't personal. quite understand why they do that. And I'm very. Make I'm very negative on this. This new. Uh, Terrestrialized thing. thing. Yeah. I still can't believe they stole it from Metazoo. Like that just it just <laughs> I know, crazy. that's crazy. Insane. God. Oh my god, you had to bring it. <laughs> this one's cool. I like I like this. Yeah. I like and it's very simple too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like so they don't gotta try too hard for the Lycan Rock. So which which yeah, form but of his, the Lycan Rock is this? Midnight. Yeah. Shouldn't exist. The, the I feel like it'd be cooler for Midnight with like a purple black like hue instead. Yeah, but like a dark. The regular I'm still EX. convinced Rockruff is supposed to be the ground or rock type version of Eevee, and they decided to not do it. But that one's definitely a dog. Yeah. Don't listen to Sudan. He's making that up. Eh. Uh, that's in his head canon. <laughs> also, a few <laughs> generations late, so. Um, <laughs> I've been saying it since that generation. Where are you? The ultra rare of this card is phenomenal. Accepting Rockruff. That's where I've been. We're, are we getting there? Is I'm assuming it's in this reveal somewhere. I'm not sure. It depends on this reveal on whether it's got ultra rares or not. It, I don't I, see any yet. Oh, you know what? It might not because this might just be all of the... Oh, I could bring it up, but um, this might just be all like the special arts, art rares, and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, the the, oh. the, the uh, ultra rare looks awesome. Actually, it's one of the things I wanted to mention about the ultra rares, like with the, the Scarlet and Violet sets and stuff like that. They look really awesome, man. They've got like the full hollow, but it, they they did the old school, um, like the little stars and all that stuff that like Metazoo's still using. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I, that, I got that. I can that Pokemon that Pokemon was using way way back then. Yeah, see? this right here. So like, yeah, yeah. So like, all the hollow, the entire yeah. card border and all is just has all the cool little. This is the galaxy sparklies. hollow you were talking about. Uh, no, that's not the Galaxy Hollow. I forget what this one's called. Uh, I don't know, but I like that one. Yeah, this is looks this... pretty cool. It, it It's freaking amazing. So this is the Galaxy Hollow that you were talking about. No, that's, yes. that's Best Buy. <laughs> that's that's no, a... See, I told like you, just... Poke, Poke Beach will hit you with an ad every single time you click on something. It's amazing. You so that's what you're talking Gengar about? Gengar little, like, Squishmallows there. Yeah, it can this, have, is why like, the I, this is why I prefer getting it. my news from Poke Guardian. Because I don't have to watch like ad videos and stuff on their site, and they put they HD five pictures up. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that's what you're talking about, though. That's what we're getting now. Mm-hmm. That's the yeah. That's the the cosmic the or galaxy. And stuff. I think that's the galaxy uh, hollow. Yeah, they're doing the okay. the borders now too. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm excited for that. It does. Um, it does. Did you want to look at any of the other ultra rares <clears throat> while I'm on this page? Or just this one? Uh, I don't. I don't remember any of the other ones. I just. Uh, I just brought it up because we got this big turd here. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, uh, the big I don't turd. remember giant evolved uh, Cooper's um, evolution is off the top of my head. I can't remember. Uh, is this still um, Quagsire in this game? I don't think so. Yeah, it's called something else. It's, it's the equivalent of Quagsire, right? Um, but yeah, this is the main set. If you want to go look at it, um, we're not going to focus on that. It's another thing there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we were on this one. So now, yeah, moving uh, on from the Lycan Rock, we've got the the giant turd again. Um, I actually kind of like this artwork, though. I feel like this background though would have been better with that Lycan Rock. Personal opinion. Yeah. Um, you like you like this artwork? I don't. I, I don't not like it. Holy crap! We can actually see his mouse finally. Yeah, because I'm on <laughs> Chrome this time. I don't know why oh. it's different for Edge. I don't know. You're Chrome's the a preferred. Edge? Yeah, Chrome's a preferred browser again, so I don't know. Uh, I don't remember this trainer's name. Y'all remember? Dendra. Dendra. Uh, I don't I think I've played far enough card. in the game to know who that is. This card. This card's already uh, insanely overpriced. Surprise! Actually, it's not this there. one. Is it this one or hold on? That was the I... regular. That wasn't the altar, was it? No. You're talking. Oh, I think it is that one. one. No, oh, this is yeah, the altar. Yeah, that one. That one. <laughs> Bro. Here's my thing, right? It's it it's like same. a weird. It's it's weird. I'm gonna say it. It's weird. Like, I bet you Clive is not highly sought after in comparison, like price wise. Well, well, not because he's he's that's what I'm. That's what's features. weird though. 
how old is Dendra in this? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We're, we're getting down a weird path. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, cool trainer cards. You got Clive there and Dendra. What's this guy's name? Blue Shirt McGee. He kind of looks like um, Morty from Gold and Silver, but like I thought you were gonna say from Rick and Morty, and I was like, no, it like, doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. You were watching a weird in Gold, show Silver, like and that. Crystal. Morty, I think, was the fourth gym leader, the ghost type gym leader. It had the stupid game. Uh, it was annoying. I don't think this is I, Morty. I, I it's not no, Morty, no. but I'm saying yeah, it kind of looks not, like a young emo version of him. Maybe could be. You never know. Stories could be tied together. With blue hair. But again, um, I haven't played the game far enough to know. Oh, it's Gatsis. I'm just realizing like how far off I'm from the game. Are these from Scarlet and Violet? All these no, trainers? that's these from, from Black and White. Five. Yeah, yeah okay. that's five. Black and White. That's interesting. I thought they always tried to keep them kind of in the set. You know I'm not gonna I mean? lie. I'm gonna I'm gonna chase after that card. Hmm. Good for you, Ren. Um, <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if they. Uh, if he's in there because uh, it's like a nod to the uh, <clears throat> EX cards. Um, Could be. He's the I mean, they got that order. more design, so makes sense. Well, I'm just saying, like, they're, they he... went back to the EX, so they probably went back and picked a few characters from those, you know, from that time. Or maybe the black and white remakes are coming next year. Oh, what if Sudon just... What if Sudon just... Happy called that that'd be crazy or it could have been that he's never had a card before they finally put him on a card i don't think or maybe or maybe he's going to be in the anime Ooh, more but you know what if what if eventually sudon's right in the games and all that they pull all that together to where like you load in a game and you're like ah you know what i don't want to mess with kanto anymore i want to go to johto or i want to go to sino or whatever and like do all this stuff like they could be doing that i don't know Hey, one thing I am noticing about these cards, though, I don't know if it was on the, all, any of the other ones, but if you look on the side of the cards, like this. right before, yeah, the stitching, that's what they did in the old EX cards from yeah. the black and white era. And right. then isn't this like where it yeah. says trainer is like a different color? It used to, well, some sets ago it was different, like the way it was laid out and stuff. Or well, is this that's like one of these. That's new. That, that whole layout is new because it says like trainer and then whatever type of trainer or whatever, you know. Right. Yeah, it is, but. Now, here's a good question. Do the alt arts have that? Oh, they do. They still have the stitching, too. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. The alt art um, so there. these are, I think, the other last reveals of the alt arts for the main uh, starter evolutions. As um, of recording got... right now, knowing right after we finish, they're going to release the rest yeah. of the set. I, I, hope, I hope we're looking at the most recent thing, because this set released on the 10th, and today is the 11th. So hopefully uh -oh. this is the most up-to-date. Um <laughs> Yeah, so you never know. <laughs> I, you know what? We don't, but I hope we do in this case. Uh, I like this much better than the uh, full arts that we saw by far. Yes, right. Yeah, um, I love this one. This is like I think that's awesome. Like I don't. The I still don't it. like clowns. So. Nobody, nobody does. I think the. It, it as a scene is is good. Now this one still doesn't make sense to me, but Fancy. well, this one's this one looks actually better than. The other one, then this one or its original? Yeah, yeah I, think I, I think I would rather have that one than no. the other one. I th so the thing is like this style. All all three are kind of very different, I guess, um, comparatively. But I feel like I would almost I like these that are like more of an actual scene better than like just this. Although this is still a good scene, you know what I mean. This is weird. It's like almost kind of provocative. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about it, but you know. Uh, Very I'm gonna guess. I, I just you it know, looks, I, uh, I looks know. like a superhero or something. Yeah, like it's like almost like some detective that like just got done solving the case and it's like looking over his shoulder as like the Batman. the show's winding down. Yeah, something. I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Batman but doesn't smile. I don't like this one. It just doesn't have much going on for me personally. Um, so I would definitely chase these two. And probably prefer this one just because I like the scene of it better. Um, but very yeah. reminiscent of the Radiant Charizard, not the Radiant Charizard. The um, Machina. yeah, the what was it from the Black and White Legendary set? It's like the Radiant Collection. Oh, that would yes. be from uh, X and Y. 
Legendary Treasures. That was the set. Legendary Treasures. It was like the the Radiant Collection. It was like mm-hmm. that subset. They had the Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, where it was like the Charmander. Was yeah, from that's from the tr- and then it yeah, that's Radiant Collection from yeah, 20th right. anniversary. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like it's obviously very reminiscent of that. So I'm happy they're kind of bringing that kind of stuff back too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Yes, they're like creating like an evolution story. Yeah, like thing. Yeah, because if yes. you think about it, if you looked at the other two, the the actual art rares of yeah that one, it kind of it kind of feels like it's following that Not same storyline. Well, it is. Yeah. They're at the, they're they're at the store. Yeah, they're at the supermarket. Yeah, yeah. Um, that one can't get out of the tree because they don't have firefighters in the Pokemon <laughs> world. Yeah, I guess they got the screwed. Squirtle Squad though. That, that's true. That's, 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 that's right. <laughs> They, they, they can't go up ladders because they have short arms. That's also true. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is, I guess, the main chase card everyone's going to be obsessing over. Yep. Probably. Yeah. Nah. Well, I mean, it's. I think it's already like over a thousand dollars. If you wanted that's, to buy, yeah, it, but it's, so. it's Japanese. That's the Japanese market for you. Look, I There's think anybody who's a lot of anybody who buys that money. card for a thousand dollars is an idiot. Uh, I really want I that card. Offended you. Uh, you know, sorry. Yeah, I'm really not sorry. But I'm just. Kidding. I don't like. This. No, honestly, I don't care about the gold cards in this set. Nah, none uh, of them. They all look. I really good. haven't been into the gold cards in a while, to be honest with you. God, like, I prefer so the, bad. I prefer the gold cards that are like the how they used to do the, you know, like the stadiums or mm-hmm. like the pokeballs and that stuff. Yeah, just yeah, kind of different. Are. Stuff. Yeah, because like we've already got an entire set of Pokemon. Like eh, the gold card well, is just extra. And the thing I don't like is they're the exact same artwork. So right, I'll show it again. This is the same stance as this. You know, yeah. like I, it'd be one thing if it was a completely different thing too, and like mm. made it extra special. It's like one more alternate art type of thing, but it's not. Um, I don't know. I mean. Nothing wrong if you're someone who likes them. I personally don't care about the gold ones either. I would much rather get like all of the special arts and art rares and all that kind of stuff um, over those, just because it takes, in my opinion, from like a eye appeal, it takes away like all the colors. Yeah. Um, but you know, of course, if you're someone that you know loves the gold look and stuff, like you know, nothing wrong. Are they going to do that gimme goal or the number thousand and all just nothing but a gold card? Well, you see, like two little eyes yeah, or makes something. Sense. Interestingly enough, I guess did they they did away with the rainbow rares then because they didn't have any. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they, might they be. got rid. They they're not Maybe. doing rainbow rares anymore. Nice. Yeah, they listened to us. Anymore. They heard the cardboard addicts podcast complaints mm-hmm. and they said, "You know what? Those guys are right. We're out of that." <laughs> they just had a bunch of other rarities. Gold cards. No, <laughs> I like the um, rainbows just for the fact that they were cheap. And I could yeah. give them to my son, and he would be well, they were, static about it. They weren't cheap, and then they became cheap. Well, yeah, well, when they originally came out, they weren't cheap. But well, the I don't the GX ones were Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates huh? kept pulling a damn rainbow freaking three birds. Yeah, and it's like I'm that like, took all right, so I'm long over to it. Pull from Hidden Fates. Like oh, I have that like, was like one of my like last openings that I pulled that yeah. finally, and I think I pulled it twice whenever I did that opening. So I was like, yeah. bro, what the hell? And I never pulled the Mewtwo or anything. Like, there were so many things from that set, considering I would say I opened a really decent amount of that. That was so Did funny. you ever pull the Charizard? Open one behind you. What do you think, Ren? What do you no. think? Open Obviously. the one behind you. Negative, sir. The Charizard's in there. Yeah, and then I open it, and there's nothing. That's fine by me. I would be really <laughs> upset about that, to be honest. But anyways... Yeah, we and have uh, we have some other Pokemon news Red about for guys dark hosting. type terrestrializations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just yeah. looking at the notes, going dark type terrestrial Pokemon. I don't. Sure? Yeah, so I don't know. Like, there's really not a whole lot on it um, so far. Uh, just it's a rumor, I guess. Um, but on Poke Guardian, they have the Dark Type ter- uh, Terastal Charizard EX featured in rumored July 2023 release of Ruler of the Black Flame set. So it's um, like we predicted before. It's just Delta species. Sure. You all right? This man's Zoom? allergic to the Zoom. Golly. 
Oh my God! You th- All right, geez, Louise. You, you do realize people. You can people you can watch, read the black flame now. Oh, I don't need to read it. There are people watching this on freaking telephones. It's hard to All see right. it on a telephone. When it's comment this down big. below if you actually try to read any of this when we're showing it, please. Just because I would like to know if anyone truly is like, oh my God, it's like sit still for a second. Because we pretty much read all of it. Well, yeah, you know? but I mean, at least be Some people like to read and follow watching. along. Here, here's my problem, right? I've just zoomed in, so now all my browsers are going to adjust to that the next time I open one. So I'm going to go to open something, and all of a sudden it's going to be like ad that's like this big in my face. And I'm like, damn, Zen. So then every fix time. it afterwards. It's part I of the forget, gig, dude. I forget <laughs> every time. Anyways, so... Ruler of the Black Flame set. I think it's gonna be. That awesome. sounds like a you problem and not an us problem. It is, yeah. I guess. Um, July twenty eighth. Each booster box oh. thirty packs. I love that it's thirty packs. That means a lot to me. Um, <laughs> You'll never get says, one. Though. We don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll get to that. In but, theory, one box costs fifty four hundred yen. In theory. In theory, including tax. Um, so we don't know how big the set is yet. Obviously, it's still like super far off, being like what five months out or whatever, four months out. Um, so they got the other products for this. Uh, they got the uh, sleeves that are going to be the same dark, uh, dark type terrestrial Charizard sleeves. Man, that's going to be cool. A deck box for such. Um, you got the deck build box. Is that the bigger one that we showed? Uh, a while ago, I think. Um, just real quick, just going back to the price. Uh, you, did you guys? Did you guys know how much five thousand four hundred yen is? Fifty-five dollars. Something like that, no. isn't it? No, it's, it's actually 50. forty. It's actually forty. Forty dollars. Yep. Oh, U.S. Man. Forty dollars. Hold on. So you, hold on. So I guess did the conversion rate go down or something? Because it used to be. More. Yeah. Well, yeah. The so so yeah. The the yen I think has been dropping drastically. Uh, I mean, so is the dollar, the last, but <laughs> for the last month, I think it started dropping. Um, although it had gone up for a while, but I think, uh, yeah, they, they're they're taking a pretty big hit. Um, but it's forty dollars right now, and guess what? Our booster boxes, if we want to buy Japanese, cost one hundred and twenty, one hundred and twenty-five. Yeah. So I'm saying, why? We'll, we'll never why? see the price before <laughs> shipping. Well, and you know what's crazy? Think yeah. about this. This is going to be. I mean, we'll see. But just <clears throat> assuming how the hype beasts work because of Charizard, especially this is, you would think, based on the fact that they're calling it like the Black Flame set and all that, there's probably going to be like Charizard artwork on all of it if they're doing it for the sleeves and stuff. So you're going to have a very, very, very collectible box from a hype beast standpoint. So I bet this is a box that easily starts off like $90, $100. It starts off as in once somebody's gone over there and bought all the stuff and been like, cool, markup. So I'm not paying. I'm not paying over seventy. I, I honestly, even at seventy, I'm just like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather just buy the Charizard at that point, you know, or Charizard. I just I guess wait till it comes out in English and I can get it at an affordable price. Mm. But that's, that's what I'm saying, though. So we were talking about that, and you figure, I think personally, from a the art rares and all that kind of stuff, the Japanese had a huge advantage with the uh, silver borders. And albeit you are right, Zen, that the quality will always be better, for sure. I mean, it will for a long time, I'm sure. It'll be a long time before English ever gets up to that quality. But with the silver borders coming to the English side, too, will they not start to kind of, like, get that evened out? You know, like, okay, the Japanese is up here, but now English is kind of, like, you know what I mean? We've been in that for 25 years. Not yet. Not yet. So the Japanese market... Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Mm. eventually... The Japanese cards are going to go back to normal, and the English cards are going to skyrocket in price. Or not skyrocket, but they're going to go back up. And then English is going to be more valuable than Japanese, which is how it was for the last 20 years of Pokemon. Right? <laughs> right. So, like, like literally, you could buy a pack of freaking base Japanese for, what was it, 50, 50 to $60? That's what I was buying them for. Um, fossil, you know, yeah. you're talking about like the the old Watsi vintage era. stuff. Vintage stuff. God, and, I, I miss the backs to the old pocket monster look. I mean, I luckily I was able to monster. grab a bunch of packs, but we're gonna eventually go back to that. I think because I think that the the English market is just gonna always be better. I think right now I, we're just going through some like weird 
Something, something weird is going on. I, it's and the hype I think it's piece, market man. Manipulation. Yeah, you have the hype piece. You have all the the whatnot streamers and the TikTok yeah. streamers. This is this is my problem with everything. Right? Is I feel like there's um, justified values. So, like, if something is actually truly a limited, rare thing, then okay, yeah. you kind of like can set the price to what you want it to be. For example, right. if you you know if you pull. Uh, a Charizard that's super rare or harder to pull, you know, the alt art V or whatever from, uh, from brilliant stars. Right. And you pull a black label BGS 10. So like perfect, pristine card, you probably have a very low population of that specific grade. You know what I mean? If Mm -hmm. there's even any other ones, but it's probably like within, you know, 10 or less, I would say. So you can kind of dictate a market off of that. But when it's like, Hey, this box is, just getting released it's got millions of print run or hundreds of thousands at least who are you to be like man they're hard to get they're gonna be at easily 120 dollars like like the v-star universe you know what i mean like there's probably no right. reason why v-star universe immediately was like pew you know hit 120 dollars but then you just got people that understand that you know like or i guess have uh, I guess uh, expendable money. I don't know and that they can just throw it around and kind of willy nilly buy that stuff. I never bought V Star Universe, not not Japanese at that price, at least. You know what I mean? Because I'm just oh, like, I, I have, can't. I have Chinese. I did buy Japanese, but I actually didn't pay the crazy price. Yeah, you got it. it like on the pre order before it apparently. And I got didn't tie. get a second print run and all that. Right. You know, right? So it's like I don't know. I I just don't know. I feel <clears> like. I think Japanese will come back down eventually, but I think it's not going to go back to what it used to be. Well, like I I'm, think, that's what I'm kind of worried about. I think it's not going to go back. It's not going to go back down all the way. Though is that people are getting their first look at upcoming cards from there too. Yes. So it's yeah. like in conjunction with all of the streamers and um, all those guys, like the hype beasts we're talking about. It's you get to look at some of the new cards two three months in advance yeah Yeah. and everybody's looking to make that extra dollar right now so that's what they're going for well i get so like here's the hype immediately i just don't understand the fact that it holds you know because there's no rarity to it and it's not it won't hold so here's the thing so like for hold i mean short you hold like couple months if you and if you look at um the miriam sar card which was the alternate art that was extremely or it still is extremely expensive right and yeah. it's interesting because you have like people going, oh, it's because the art is so different and so amazing and blah, blah, blah. But then other cards that have different amazing art don't really get that same type of attention. <laughs> or then another you go, card that has the same well, art it, style by the same yeah. artist. Yeah. Or it's it's a waifu. So it's like both of those things together combined. And it's like, uh-huh. okay, whatever. But it, it's not worth a thousand dollars. I'm sorry. Um there, if you go on eBay right now, right? And I'm just talking about eBay. There's other markets out there. But if you go this on eBay right now, about, right? Yeah. If you go on eBay right now, there's 86 results. So there's 86 Miriams on eBay right now that you could buy. The problem is that they're really expensive. If you really think about it, like 86 is a good number of cards, right? If you did yeah. a search for, if you did a search for something else, um, I mean, I'm just going to throw it out there. Maybe like world's championship card for like, you know, uh, you know, the 10th, you know, the first 10 places or whatever the case is, you know how like they have, Mm -hmm. if you qualify or or whatever, right. Like, like if you look, if you look at how many of those cards are out there, you're going to have a lot less cards because the rarity rarity is an actual, it's an actual rarity. It's not printed to hell. It's, literally like a group of people got them for being in an event and so yeah. those cards i expect those fully to go up in value because there's a yeah, yeah, very yeah. limited number of them but you don't have that with this there's a gazillion boost if you look up it, like i mean violet ex i'm, I'm going to look it up real quick violet ex booster box right just for the sake of of seeing here there's 349 listings of violet ex booster boxes you know like there's and those listings ton. could be multiple like yeah. boxes available too. So oh yeah yeah and then and then on top of that that's just eBay like we're not even talking yeah. about websites that sell it we're not talking about 
uh, CG player. There's and... all the Japanese stores, Amazon. I mean, like, there's there's yeah. a crap ton of them out there. So it's not like there's a shortage of Violet EX boxes anywhere. I mean, they're out there. The only problem is everybody's jacking up the prices because here's <clears throat> here's the way that I think it, it they've manipulated the market. The higher the price of the booster box, the less people are willing to buy the booster box and the less people are willing to open the booster box. Even if they do buy it, they're going, you know what? I'm going to keep it sealed. So you're going to have yeah. a, a less number of people opening it and less people of of people, less people pulling that Miriam SAR no. card. So I think that's the I think that's one of the things is they're going to continue to do that because they they want to retain the value of those cards yeah well and if they put if well, they put the booster boxes up for 40 bucks everybody's buying them and you know how much how many of those mirrors would be on ebay right now right there well, there'd be hundreds of them and that's the thing that like kills me about it is it's like also the idea with the miriam it's kind of just this like fabricated thing so like for example uh with crown zenith slash v star universe right they put the cynthia in there cynthia mm-hmm. has a pretty good following obviously right like if they, yep. you know, did a, another Brock or Misty or something like that, those trainers, if we're just speak, you know, speaking on trainers alone, have Brock's followings already. I, I'm Brock's just saying though, shit. like, you know what I mean? Like there's like actual people, you know, have a, a like there's a actual Brock of, cards and they ain't worth shit. <laughs> but I, I'm just saying though, like that idea that like there's like sentimental, I guess, value to Brock. You know what I mean? So it's like. Right. All those, you know, trainers would, in my opinion, if they brought out a really cool card, I'd be like, ah, damn. Like I wasn't the last you know Brock in Hidden Fates. Uh, Brock's no. grit. Wasn't that in? Um... Was it Hidden Fates or was it the one right after it? Well, you've got Brock's even... grit, which was Evolutions. I was gonna say, and then there was, and a that's Brock's. not that's that's literally you could buy that card right now for six dollars on eBay. But my point being, though, is like Miriam. I, I didn't even know who Miriam was. Whenever you were like, "Oh my god, this Miriam card!" Nobody does. So much. No, I don't that's think anybody my point, knew. Though. You know, unless you played that, like, my the point, entire though, game. Right? But like, how many people have? You know what I mean? So like, that number is probably pretty. Well, I mean, obviously, it's not pretty low. But I'm just saying, like, from the the idea of like the hype beast and what you're hyping up, you're literally fabricating a value, basically. You know what I mean? Like, you basically were just like, that card looks like it's going to be cool. Like some big time YouTuber probably said, man, like once they released the thing, that's a beautiful artwork. And then everyone was like, I love that artwork. And some dickhead was like, oh, guess what? I'm going to, pre- you know, set up pre-orders for that one for like $300. And everyone else was like, me too. And It just goes back to the know? fact like, you know, somebody sees a Charizard, they're going to put it up for $10,000 and be like, it's worth this much. Meowth, get the fuck down. <laughs> but that's the thing though like i would say i'm not saying it's justified that charizard be worth that much but the idea of like it's charizard is what i think would bring the value and charizard has a following whereas miriam i'm like i didn't know who miriam was you know what i mean like that's what i don't understand about it is so weird like them bringing back those other trainers that you guys were talking about from you know whatever their respective eras for this upcoming set I'm like, okay, there's probably people who really like those trainers. Like, that would make a little more sense for those ones to be more expensive because it's like they have a following, kind of, you know, so to speak. So, how much is the, the the band Misty card compared to the Merriam? Like the OG like, band Misty card? Very, I don't think it's very uh, expensive, actually. Yeah, because that's yeah, just compared to the Merriam. You're going Misty, a very popular character, then the band card, a very popular thing to try to pick up. What is its value compared to this scenario? Well, the, which well, the, I the game. But, so Misty's Misty's tier is not a hollow or anything like that. It's just a, a common card, so it's not really worth much. You can get it for like twenty bucks. But it's a so, common. It's a common card. I mean, it's just the, the only difference is it was banned. What was yeah, the, the Cynthia card, card from Hidden Fates? Might as well be a hollow. Hmm. What was the Cynthia's Cynth- card from Hidden Fates? I think it was just uh, Cynthia's, Cynthia's ambition. Yeah. No, it was just Cynthia. No, I think it was just Cynthia. Yeah, it was just a Cynthia. Yeah, I think that card is only seventy-five dollars, roughly. Yeah, like you can get a PSA ten for right here. I'm looking at a listing for one twenty-five OBO, yeah. and I'm like, that's weird because I mean, don't get me wrong, it's obviously not an alternate art, so there's that. But like that alternate art, in my opinion, is not as cool as the regular art. Like, I don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense. And I'm like, I kind of I'm over the whole fabricated pricing on stuff. You know what I mean? Like, there, there's not an actual shortage of the boxes. So, like, there's that. It just doesn't make sense to me. 
it, it goes back to the fact that Pokemon also doesn't release what you know how many so, what the populations are. True. So here's here's something interesting, right? So you have Sim- Cynthia's ambition in Crown Zenith, right? That card, if you look it up, there's 217 results for that card, and that includes PSA cards and whatever, all the graded cards and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and all the different languages or whatever the case is, but. You can get that card for like twenty one dollars or twenty five dollars. I mean, Cynthia's yeah, ambition. Right. Yeah, there you go. Now, I, granted, I don't think that that card is as rare. You know, at least no. I mean, in, Jap- in, a in Japanese, like it might be, but like in English, like you could pull it a lot easier. And most of these listings are going to be in English. But if you really think about it, two hundred and seventeen results on eBay, right? If you look That's up the Miriam, if you look up the Miriam, English hasn't come out yet. So there's yeah. no listings for Miriam. So there's 87 listings of Miriam in the Asian languages, right? Which are the ones that came out already. Mm-hmm. Which if really, if you think about it, like, I think there's only a couple of them in Thai. There might be an Indonesian one out there. Like there's yeah. not that many in the other language. Like Japanese is literally the the most the dominant one. As soon as ever. as soon as the English ones come out, there's going to be 300 400 listings of of Miriam at least. Which is more than which is more than Cynthia and Cynthia is $22 or $25. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. And then at the same time, I mean, why isn't Cynthia more expensive unless it's not as playable as Miriam? I don't I don't know, but it's cuz she lost to Ash. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, like, Cynthia is a popular character. That, like, that's my thought, though. Like, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I don't understand waifu? about the Miriam is, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Right. That's just what I don't like about it is it's, like, so fabricated. Because I bet you, yeah. if, you know, 90% of the people you asked, if you were like, hey, who is Miriam in Pokemon? Most of them probably wouldn't right. know. And then outside of that card, they probably couldn't tell you what Miriam does in Scarlet and Violet, which I can't either, so I'm not saying I can. I'm just saying <laughs> I don't hold value to Miriam. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna pay more than like ten dollars for that Miriam card, which is obviously yeah. not gonna hit that value, but I'm just saying, like, that's what I don't understand about it. It's like I can understand if Mir if they came out with say like in the, in that set, if they had come out with like a goodbye Ash Ketchum card and it was an alternate right. art thing and like that would be so crazy. You know what I mean? Like I can understand that one, but not Miriam. <laughs> like it just we've only had one me. Ash card, and it was the Ash Greninja. Was was that a real thing? Am I making that up? Yeah, Ash is yeah. Greninja. That was a thing. Okay, okay. it was I a box set or whatever. It used to be. I like, love how in the clear I love section how your cat, all the time. I love how your cat is just back there watching you. I think it's <laughs> scheming. It's getting ready to like take. He's you down watching. The world. He he usually hangs out above there, but for some reason he's like being extra hunty on his mom. He's mm. trying to find a way to pounce on her and attack her because she's quite a bee. Mm. So interesting. I've got something more exciting though that hopefully should. Well, I don't know. I don't know that it's going to be that much easier to get per se. But these is it the? Here. Oh, it's the. It's not Pokemon. As I check the notes over here. It's oh no! It's Whatever are Pokemon. we going to do with the same exact Funkos we already have, just with a different I sticker? I don't know though. So this Pikachu was the same, but I don't know about these ones. My guess is, and they haven't been revealed Dude. as of this recording, as of, as we're Bulbasaur, recording. Charmander, Squirtle, Eevee. Mm, who's the it, last one? We've already got these, man. I'm telling you. I don't know. It's so be I will the say evolutions. the What's going to suck is, so for the... Uh, the last well, one's going to be Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Probably. I, I don't it's, know. It's going to be this guy. It's going to be this guy. And he's going to be all shiny. And it's going to be like, okay, it's the same exact so, Pokemon. You know what's crazy, though, is the Pikachu sold out fast. Like, really That's not fast. crazy. But I See, wonder if I it was the best... collectors or people wanting to just flip it. Well, I already have the I... best Squirtle in the world, so... That's fake. Is that an actual so, Funko? No. Oh. Well, it is a Funko, but um, High187 sent me this. He actually put the glasses on him. Oh, nice. I was like, I want one. <laughs> I, I remain <laughs> hopeful that it's not going to be predictable, but oh, the only reason 
I'm kind of like holding out hope is the fact that like some of these like the I, well, I don't know what you would call this um, stuff here, well, but like Swift, Swift, but they make it not. I don't know. I I just I'm hopeful it's not the starters just because so um what is the name of this uh design they went with uh pearlescent yes that is it so that shiny is basically it which i don't understand because they already have metallic so again oh, metallic they, they just keep them. putting out the same product just a slightly different shine to it i don't I, if I, if it is whatever. either charmander or charizard i will definitely try to get that one just because i have to but i don't really are there care any other if pictures they come out no, that's that's all they've come out with so far. I wonder if I can actually know. There's no, the wait. So if you scroll down, if you scroll down, there's no Pikachu picture down there, or no? No, oh, you can't. Uh, well, so oh. they, I guess, will go to their. Oh, because it's cut off. Never mind. Yeah. They have. I really hope that it's like the they finally thing, give us Venusaur. They give us Blastoise. I don't care See, if they gave us the Charizard, and then they gave us like Mewtwo would be fine. This but, is literally. I guess it's like slightly kind of like shiny looking. I, but then, like, the box is special, and then it's got the only at Pokemon Center, which is the big thing. Um, I don't think I have that one. It's got that hollow, the the Pokemon, like, the label there, and behind yeah, the it's, number, it's it's got that hollow. It's got the hollow, like, like the holographics that the new sets are going to have. Sold out, unfortunately. Um, so that sucked. Um, which is but, just like the original Pikachu when they uh, released that in Target, when they first announced it. Like, you had to, like, find it. And then they re-released it like months later, and you could actually find it everywhere. And then they did the ten inch, and then they did the thirty inch. And yeah. Then... So I, the only thing that'll be interesting is because this is Pokemon Center exclusive. The only other place you will eventually be able to get it, I think, based on that, is uh, the Funko site itself. But I haven't heard of it being there yet, so we'll see. Um, my guess is they'll keep restocking it. I don't see why it would be that limited. I just. For a regular Pikachu, I just don't understand. I mean, it's the same exact stance Pikachu as we've gotten before, so it's not even like it's a special stance that's different. Um, it's just a variant of that stance. So I it's don't just know. the same product they didn't sell before, just painted different. Yeah, they just spray painted it with like a coat real quick. I don't know. <laughs> um, but speaking Here, of Funko, one of these go. They don't the want to bury it in thing. the desert. Yeah. So. Funko uh, is throwing or did throw away thirty million dollars worth of product um, from, and I guess it was all from what I've read. It was all from their uh, Arizona warehouse, and basically they had done they had been doing such great sales, and I guess like being able to move product so much that they all of a sudden what they called um, they had a uh, oh what was the wording um, liquidation. No, um, <laughs> like shipping issues, basically shipping like delays and stuff like that. So then they had a backup of, uh, I guess stuff in their uh, warehouse. So they, I guess, wanted to throw away a bunch. I, I don't really know why you wouldn't donate it instead of throwing it away. But yeah, it would be better on your image to donate it. It's not like it's a cartridge of a terrible game like ET, where you bury it in the desert and then some <laughs> kid goes and unlock, goes and you know unburies it. Maybe I mean, as it a time capsule? Do we, you know, check it in thirty years <laughs> yeah. and see if how we lived in the nineteen twenties or whatever we're at now? But I'll you know, <laughs> find that uh, the picture um, Funko landfill um, because that was wild. Um, I just want landfill. some. I, I this is where I want like some Logan Paul style idiots to go on YouTube digging these things out. To try to like, look at I found the stash. I found the yeah. Funko stash in the dumpster. You know. So this is a picture somebody that. took. Um, I guess then, they basically just took these boxes. I mean, they're not even opened. Um, and threw a bunch of them at a landfill. Uh, and it was like I guess like thousands of these boxes that are unopened. I'm just like, what? A, like I just. <sighs> Why? It's all Fortnite <laughs> ones because nobody gives a shit about Fortnite, or they should. Can you imagine? Um, can you imagine how many people actually went to the landfill to just grab Funkos? I mean, I, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's funny because I think a lot of it was supposed to be various Star Wars ones, but I don't know if it was like literally just these specific Star Wars ones, like just a specific. It's, I don't. I don't know. 
It's all probably those. it's it's probably all the shitty Star Wars characters like from the new movies. So yeah. What I'm curious about there must not be because so a lot of times with those sealed boxes you can get chase variants in them. So there must not have been any of those uh, within those because I don't see why like you would run that risk because you could just open those and put those on something. I would think you know what I mean. Well, I mean, or you can imagine um, being somebody that bought something for a chase to not get the chase and then find out later on that they dumped a bunch of the chase into a landfill. Yeah, I I don't know that that's it's just so busy to running me. for that Ray figure. Nobody cares about the Ray chase where she's dark sided and nobody wants that. <laughs> You never know, though. Like, in 10 years, somebody might be like, oh, I have the only ones. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Uh-uh. I found mine in the dumpster, just like my cat, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um. Yeah, I thought that was crazy, mainly just because, like, I don't know, Funko's stock has been plummeting, too. So Now, is that a thing, like, where, like, they had to do it? Like, if their stock is dropping, they have to do certain, like, tax write-off type certain things so that they can claim a pot i don't i don't understand i'm sure there's like some sort of weird business finance thing to it i just don't see why they had like like, donating them wouldn't have been an option i mean then they could claim it on it if they donated it they could at least claim claim it as a donation they would have tax right on that but i'm like and and also you're giving that like public opinion of like oh they did something nice with their stuff versus they threw it away (laughs) they clearly they clearly have a super duper creative team over there that uh can put out brand new product and not reuse the same product that they've redone and just slap a new shiny uh, coat on it and then put a new sticker on it. So they're very, very creative over there, Funko. Um, So, Uh, I mean, mean, they, listen, I mean, that's, it's, you got to think really, really hard to come up with an idea like donating the stuff instead of throwing it in a landfill. That's like, that takes some serious creativity right there. The only I thing maybe I could see, is I could see exactly why, but I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know what the the thought process was. I wasn't a part of that. So, anybody at Funko wants to come on here and explain the thought process? Yeah, yeah and... apparently. Hold on, just just to be clear, we're not just trying to bully them. You know what I mean? Like they're yeah, allowed to come on here, them. right? Like yeah. if they want to come on here and have that discourse yeah. with us, just this like is not a one sided. That we've talked about bad things. If they want to come on here and have the discourse, we're open to that. Okay. It's not it's not one of those just like we're having an intervention about this one thing and nobody can speak on that behalf. But we want actual representation. We don't just want a fan to come on and be all like, well, this is what it's about. Don't worry about that. Just just ignore that. OK, we want actual representation just so you're aware. OK, so don't worry about that. God, what he said, what they said. Anyways, <laughs> God. <laughs> Grumpy gets triggered. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. Our comments on the last video were blown up about that. So, well, you, you know, that's a yes, that's men, yes, men don't uh, matter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the uh, meta poo yeah. stuff and all that. That's what happens. That's a, well, that's what happens when you're so, in a cult, I guess. We've got another triggering thing for some people out there. Well, for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. What is that? So, oh. TikTok <laughs> is banning card breaks. Um, and yes. they they labeled it under surprise based products. So here's I guess uh, allowed things versus not allowed, whatever. Um, of like I guess Oyster? how you can do it. <gasps> Mystery yeah, boxes I, are still allowed. Blind boxes. Yeah, what? I don't. And that's funny because I've seen I see so many TikToks of people being like, when you pay five hundred dollars for a mystery box, this is what I put in them. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure that's what you always put in them. What about the one when I <laughs> well, buy? It, wasn't it? Me? Wasn't it recently or like the? the the, I think like the streamer on what was it whatnot that they they got caught like him and his girlfriend or his wife or whatever were kind of like swapping out mystery like from a mystery pack or whatever they were putting like a certain graded card in this very specific uh, package and like apparently the whole thing was the streamer I guess has two different phones and grabbed the wrong one and was like trying to show people something else. Mm-hmm. And it turned out that the camera that was still going was the one that his girlfriend was kind of doing a swaparoo. <laughs> and like, when did we see something where someone accidentally recorded them doing something sketchy? Was that that wasn't Don Diego, was it? I don't remember. Well, yeah, that one too. That one too. Yeah, that yeah. was that was <laughs> the Radar, that no. was the that was the alleged uh, shill bidding. Yeah. Uh, um, 
No, I, I don't know what you're talking about with that. I don't I don't keep okay. up with the latest and greatest on the different whatnot things. That doesn't surprise me though. I mean, you know. Yeah, El Possum Blood did a video on it a couple about a week ago about re- exposing yeah. that one. And it's pretty hilarious. I that's the thing. So like I don't have anything against breaks. I don't really have anything against the idea of like a break similar type things, like those surprise based as TikTok's calling it. My thing is that I guess kind of like anything, you know what I mean? Like you, you're just gambling with your money and that's, you just have to be in control of those situations. You know what I mean? I, well, it is what it is. So at the end know? of the day, at the end of the day, if you are opening packs, it is a gamble regardless. Right. So like mm. whether you're, whether you're doing it through a break or, or through like opening packs, you're still doing the same gambling. Oh, PayPal is even breaking down on breakers. Now, the issue is, and I don't have a problem with breaks themselves. I have a problem with the majority of breakers taking advantage of their audience in order huh. to make more money, like those clowns. Um, and backyard breakers. <laughs> backyard breakers or whatever. And so you. that's kind of like where I have the issue is like they'll take, um, you know, cards that or packs that are like really not that expensive. You know, and I think Opossum Bud actually mentioned that in his last video about like the Korean cards or something like that, right? Where mm-hmm. like the Korean, you know, whatnot <clears throat> streamers will buy these Korean boxes because they're a lot cheaper, and then they'll yeah, sell them, sell at, them up, at the price of Japanese or something. Yeah, and they'll sell them like at an upcharge <laughs> price, just because most people don't even know that you could just go on eBay and get yeah Korean booster boxes. Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, if like, you're an uninformed person, saying oh, this is a Korean box sounds rare and like. Right. exclusive and exotic you know what i mean like it right. makes you think value potentially but yeah not. and that's the whole thing and like if you if you really know anything about the korean cards they're actually lesser quality than the japanese and the you know the other stuff so yeah well, like this is you're not you're not getting the value right? right my problem is just i don't really like as an adult, right? As an adult, we all make these decisions. You choose to buy into stuff, whether sure. you're informed or uninformed. Like, that is on you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The problem is you have a bunch of kids who run around with their parents' cell phones and probably get into this. You know, they're not informed at all, most likely. They're not even, obviously, in control of the money. You know, next thing you right. know, your parents, you know, their parents' bill is $300 because they were just bidding on stuff randomly. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And, and that's the problem is I think these apps don't restrict that. And th- there's a lot of different apps that do a lot of different things that don't restrict things too. Twitch is another one with stuff, but that's a different story. The thing is, I don't necessarily, like, I don't, I don't care that they banned it. I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really care at all. Um, it just sucks for people that run legitimate breaks and it's meant to be more of like a getting the community involved and having a good time and, you know, maybe you pay a little bit more for a pack. Like instead of say, right. you know, a, a Brilliant Stars pack, you go to the store and can buy it for four dollars. You pay six dollars, but it's like a community event kind of thing that you're also paying for and stuff. And like for mm-hmm. example, um, Awesome Games TCG, he does breaks and stuff. He's really cool about like if you buy into his break, but you know he's yeah. doing another one in a week and stuff like that. Maybe you want to save on shipping, so he'll let you just pile all these cards together so you do mm-hmm. a lump sum shipping. You know, that's what I don't like about whatnot. Whatnot makes you pay for every single thing you buy with shipping. And yet they can ship it in the same package if they want. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like that kind of annoys me because it's like, I get it. It makes sense that you would do that. But like, because it's built in versus their thing, like you can't really like not have it, which apparently drip is better about that. I don't know. I haven't you know, been on drip, all... but I've, I don't know if they're any good or not. But yeah. I've heard people prefer it. And this is from a small, like, uh, I guess review sample size. Um, mm-hmm. They prefer drip because shipping is free. It's like basically they have to cover the cost via the card, essentially. Hmm. And I could be wrong on that. That's just what someone told me. So, um, but whatnot, obviously, I know for a fact is like everything has shipping for every purchase. And you right. can't exact, I mean, maybe they can go on their end, like the streamer, and be like, hey, you know, I want to refund the shipping on all these cards, but then charge it on this one because I'm going to put it all in one envelope anyways. I don't know. Um, I just know I've bought a, uh, various cards before 
then upon getting them, they're all in the same package, but I paid like a dollar for each card shipping wise. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's not like eBay where, you know, on eBay, you can be like, okay, send me an invoice. I want all these, you know, shipped together or whatever. So just charge me say $2 versus one or whatever, you know? Um, But yeah, I didn't even know they did breaks on TikTok. If I'm being honest, that was news to me that they even did breaks once it, once I saw the news on it. Um, Yeah. But I mean, any place that's able to do live streams, I'm sure they took they, they've they like weeds. They moved into that territory, you know. For sure, to take I mean, of, you know, I just, not? just I'm not like, as familiar what? with the TikTok stuff with like um, how you could do payments. I guess because it's kind of like Twitch in a way where you have to like do like you. I think you buy roses or something like that, but you don't. You don't. You know what I mean? Like you don't just like have like a buy this thing. Like, well, I think their problem is, is they can't necessarily, you know, censor a live stream without blocking the entire channel. And you can put a in a live stream like ours, you can put all a bunch of links and stuff up. Like, go to this, put this here, which means, and in certain situations, you could put only fans up here, which TikTok is very huge on blocking that cert- certain thing because yeah. it's smut. But it's, it's just that kind of stuff. They can't regulate it, so this makes yeah. sense. And if you're also using, like, the wheels and stuff, that stuff yeah. is hard for them to regulate, which, honestly, I'm like, I, I have nothing against breaks, but, you know, I'm I'm like, well, it was it was inevitable. My, my thing is just it's hard, yeah, like you said, the apps to control these things. So I would rather not have the risk of, like, you know, some poor set of parents or parents, whatever, or guardian of some child is like, why the hell is my phone bill all of a sudden $600? You know what I mean? Like, like in Ren's case, you know what I mean? Imagine your son was on whatnot and you had no idea. Like, you know what I mean? You can't stop him from doing it unless you physically are just yeah. monitoring him 24 seven or whatever. And right. to be fair, some of this is on the parents, you know what I mean? Like monitor your kids what they're doing. But the app also can't exactly do much to verify stuff. You know what I mean? Like if you, you as in you, Ren, have an account, your son could go on there and be like, what is whatnot? Oh, my God, I love that Pikachu. Bid, 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 bid until he wins. And, you know, next thing you know, you got a $45 common Pikachu in the mail. And you're like, what the hell? And a new (laughs) addict in the house. I mean, it's a downhill (laughs) slope for him. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I I mean, in theory, you can do that that anywhere. He's not going to be living in my house for very long right. <laughs> kicks him but, out when he's six get a job you bum that's i just don't know you know I, I don't know we'll see what other apps are going to do it because you know i i would imagine for some of how them, long how long before you think uh before you think they they the other apps will start doing it like twitch well, the, and... i guess the question is which one would be first you know what i mean because mm. twitch and youtube is probably a little bit harder i don't know that you can like embed stuff as much you know what i mean other than i guess maybe in like the descriptions so um but i don't know if they have to you know what i mean like you figure right. in twitch's case completely different thing but they didn't ban like you know the the uh uh hot tub streams and stuff and basically just kind of you know put those behind whatever regulations so what's pokemon master holly gonna do (laughs) i my thing is i don't really care what people are doing it's just i guess the hard thing is the awkwardness of the kids which you know again i agree like as parents you kind of have to be able to regulate them and make sure they're not doing stuff they shouldn't but at the same time with twitch for example it starts off e for everyone so you should have to abide by rules of like, okay, this is set at an age limit. So, but then like also well, what's the, technically there's an age limit. I think age limits, you know, I think like YouTube and Twitch are like th- 13 and up. I think I, I'm just thinking like, I, I guess again, and it, it's so, I guess it falls on the parents to a degree, like 50%, but like mm-hmm. that idea of a kid can just make an account and make his age or her age or whatever their age, you know, 55, you know, and next right. thing you know, they can go on any content they want. But that's kind of the downfall. There's, It's hard to regulate. So I feel like a lot of these apps are going to start basically being like, eh, none. You know? I mean, the thing is that it's tough because, like, take eBay, for example. I mean, if you stay logged in and your kid comes along and... I did that as a kid one time. <laughs> starts bidding on things on eBay. Like, 
you know. I really and, wanted a paintball gun, and I bid like what do you do? One. <laughs> you know yeah. that should be the responsibility of the parent. That's the way I see. Yeah, it. yeah. Parents aren't responsible. But out of curiosity, then, do you have any problem with, say, you know, TikTok how they banned it, Twitch if they were to ban breaks? Like, do you think that's wrong of them though? Um, I think that I think that like there's good reason to ban it. Um, Mm -hmm. I think that like there's kind of a predatory like thing around that stuff. Like I said, I think that they take they take advantage of you know a lot of them. And I'm not saying all of them. I'm not you know I'm not saying all of them. I'm saying there is a lot of breakers that do take advantage of the community, take advantage of. The fact that like they're popular or whatever the case is, so you're paying for, you know, the content, which is the whole yeah. thing that that you know all the breakers they want to they want to say that that's the thing, you know, you're paying for the content. Well, no, I'm paying for the pack. Just open my damn pack. But um, yeah. it all goes back. To I, I think. I think it's it, all well. Gambling. It's all gambling though. Like I said, it's all gambling though. If you open up a booster box, it's gambling. You're Waking not, up in the in the morning is gambling. You never know what you're going to get yourself into. It's all a gamble. <laughs> but I don't necessarily have an issue with it. And I know that TikTok is weird, again, because uh, it's also yeah. overseas, right? It's not it's not the U.S. Sure, so didn't they get bought out? Did they buy it? They, they, they got bought out by Microsoft? I thought so. They're here. Microsoft. Who oh, maybe they are. Maybe that's why it's getting banned now. Fight dance. <laughs> Private company headquartered in Beijing. There you go. Hmm. Someone um, was partially yeah. right. <laughs> in what way? <laughs> how? I don't exactly. See how you were even partially right. <laughs> see, see, yeah. if I do this, it'll go mirrored. So in the other universe, he was right, and so in this universe, he's partially no parallel right. universe here, buddy. Yeah, yeah sorry, no multiverse of madness time. for you. We don't, we don't do multiverses here. <laughs> I, I personally no don't care. Madness. Out of curiosity, as the only parent here, Ren, how do you feel about that? Like, do you have any kind of, like, qualms in any way, shape, or form? Like, for example, if, if like, Twitch and YouTube also were to be like, you know what, no more box breaks like that, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I mean, my kids aren't old enough to know how to do any of that or go on there. But they could accidentally, well, your son for sure could accidentally just click. You'd be surprised. Kids are pretty smart and able to figure out technology in weird ways. True. Yeah, like how do you use? I mean, like monitors? there's definitely. They're de- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they're definitely too smart. Easy. Kids are definitely smart, but my son's not the one that would go on there and buy anything anyway. But you guys also probably monitor him rel- relatively. Your, yeah, your oh, one yeah. year old daughter, though he never has. Yeah, just like, like if he blah, has blah, my blah, phone, blah. I'm I'm watching Jeez. what he's doing and all that anyway. So yeah, yeah. no. Well, yeah, he's so, never like randomly messaged us or called us or anything. Yeah. Yet, so, but I would probably, I, I'd probably be a little more concerned about it, I guess, if he was older and maybe understood it a little bit more. But I, mean, I don't know. It's, it's not like Oscar the Grouch going on TikTok going, "Hey kids, let's bid on this Pokemon pack because it's terrible." You know, it's they're not that level yet. I mean, that would no. be awesome. well, somebody might be. You never know. But <laughs> so Sesame Street breaks. <laughs> the other thing, the other thing that I think would be good if they did ban them, the breaks, right, is the fact that you do have all of these breakers that are buying up product and selling That's it. That's my point. Yeah. And so now you're like, okay, they're inflating the market because they're selling yeah. the packs for more than if you bought a booster box. But you know what I mean? Like, they're also taking a lot of booster boxes mm. off the market they're also yes. it's, it's way worse in the sports card market like way worse because what oh, happens yeah. is you have like a couple of specific rookie cards or chase whatever because uh like i tried to explain one time it's kind of like uh funko's in a way right so one card can have like 65 different variants same exact stance like drop back pass same jersey all that you can have an auto, the patch. You can have the patch and the auto. All these things like start making different values for rookie this card. And like we saw with uh, it was like six months ago, the backyard breakers with that rookie Trevor Lawrence card. 
they didn't give it away because it was a twenty thousand dollar card. Which again, how do you deem a twenty thousand dollar card for a rookie? Does it make sense? That could but be whatever. the other side of it because there could be a shit ton of complaints coming from people watching these things, going, "Oh, these people sh- you know, cheated me. These people cheated me." Hundred percent. I agree. Me. That was on Twitch, I believe, if I remember correctly. But it's not the point. Um, I think that's what sucks about the box breaks, though. Sports market for sure is basically all sports cards or sports boxes are sold at retail. There is no being able to like buy them through a distributor and get them at a cheaper price, whatever. So everywhere you see them sold, unless it's a third party, like aftermarket sale should be retail. But Mm -hmm. so like this box right here that I have, hold on a sec, is $25, right? Roughly, usually 25 to $30. Mm-hmm. What'll happen is there's sorry you showed sports packs. on the screen for a second. What'd you do? There's what six packs in there, I believe. So what'll happen is a breaker will be like, all right, I'm selling these because there's a potential to get this rookie and that guy, and these are going to be ten dollars a pack. So all of a sudden that pack becomes or that box is like sixty dollars worth. You know what I mean? And that's if it's you know just a regular box. If there's like a guaranteed auto hit and all these kind of things, all of a sudden that box you know keeps going up and up and up and up in value um right. it happens obviously like you said with the the pokemon and all that kind of stuff too we've seen it what i think is the worst is breakers or streamers whatever that are sent new tcg product so like you know uh, kickstarter sets and stuff like that and there's not right. really like an aspect of what the value is so they can start the bidding at like say 25 dollars a pack they got it right. for free though you know or they got it super cheap in comparison. And that that's what I don't like about it is right. that aspect, the you know, kind of like the one bad apple or a couple bad apples spoils the bunch. You know, for every awesome games TCG, you know, where you're having a good time, he's probably not even making money potentially. Um, there's these guys who are making three times the money on the pack or, you know, whatever. And, right. you know, also could then not send you your pack or whatever because it's too valuable and stuff like that. And it's like yeah. That's what sucks about the aspect of it is the breaks can be super fun and super engaging with the community and stuff and everyone's having a good time in the chat and all that. But then you also have the value chasers and it's like solely value based and it kind of just ruins it. Like I've, I've stopped in whatnot streams where they set a limit, like a, a starting value, but nobody wants hmm. to bid on that for say like $25 for this one card or something because the, right. the breakers like, oh yeah, I mean, it's such a rare card and it's it's like you know, over in Japan, they've got a limited thing and like nobody wants it. And all of a sudden they're like, come on guys. Like, why aren't you bidding? And it's like, get all fucked, this information, man. Like, <laughs> that's like, what I'm saying you're... though. Like it's artificial. Like you said. Yeah. It's, right. it's my big, my it's, issue. It's all about my worry on this is the, it, it could be a slippery slope. Like at what point do they start considering what is a break? If yeah. Cause I was Joe thinking about Blow that too. Just opening decides up a to go open up a pack because he wants to do a pack. Yo, know, you know, first pack magic or something stupid like that. But you know, then they go, "Well, that that's gambling." Where, you know, that's, where do that's giveaways this. start falling into breaks? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the idea of bringing up a prize well, wheel and the people who live off of giveaways. You know, being able the to giveaway was banned. If you looked on it, it's on the ban list. That's for TikTok though. I'm talking about for YouTube and stuff. Oh. So, so like giveaways, if YouTube were to ban them and stuff. You know what I mean? Actually, I I would not have a problem with uh with that because technically. Giveaways are actually not legal in a lot of states in the United States, right? They're really? different countries. Yeah. Well, because because it's kind of like um, I guess it's kind of like a gamble sort of oh, also, sure. but but like oh, it's a clearinghouse. I think there's yeah, there's like some legality about around it, and it's like really weird. Some some states technically you have to abide by very very specific rules mm. uh, but I, I know i know like north carolina is a weird state when it comes to gambling for example like if you use like FanDuel and stuff which is funny mm. though because in in the gambling world there's like 65 different apps now to gamble stuff like right. every sport right. imaginable you know what i mean so that's what's funny to me is like in some ways we're cracking down as a society but on others we're making it easier but those are like right. much more regulated things and those government those local governments usually make cuts of the money coming out of them. Maybe yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I, honestly, you know what? I would I would actually prefer 
that they put a ban on stuff like mystery boxes. And I think that was on the list of not doing them and the blind boxes. So here's my take on that. I think mystery boxes and blind boxes, unless you're getting them from somebody that is a reputable seller and maybe potentially even somebody you know, right? Like, um, I like for example, opening. I, I don't even know. But so I, I got a mystery box. Um, They're banning know, from, giveaways too. Yeah, they're banning giveaways, right? Um, but I like I I got a mystery box that was really good because um, Golden War Turtle, you know, he used to watch my videos or whatever, and he reached out to me. He's mm-hmm. like, "Hey, do you want to get a mystery box?" He was just getting into the whole selling gig or whatever, and he watched my videos, so he knew what I liked. And so the mystery box that I got from him actually had stuff that I wanted, stuff that I liked, stuff that was like actually interesting to me right if you get a mystery box from some random person like it's just a mystery box like with packs and whatever it's not tailored to you as an individual and so like whatever all you're really doing is you're gambling on top of gambling which is there's packs inside the mystery box so you're that's a gamble but then you're also gambling with whatever the seller is like oh i'm gonna throw this in here or i'm gonna throw that in there and then from what I what I've seen in like for example like on eBay and some of these places where they have those blind boxes or uh, mystery purchases or whatever where they'll say you could uh, if you buy uh, you know like this eBay thing or whatever you could win one of 50 different PSA cards right and then there's like a shit ton of crappy cards and then there's the one good hit what's to say that they even send that card out to anybody at yeah. all. You know what I mean? Like, there's no regulation on that. Like, you could literally post something on eBay and be like, oh, I'm selling all of these, you know. Uh, you could potentially win this card, and then nobody ever wins it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, that's what I just don't understand with... Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> with, with the idea. So, like, there's also... So, I was just thinking about this as you were talking about mystery boxes... So what about like subscription services? You know what I mean? Like when you pay for, uh, say, like those thirty dollar subscription services where they send you random product. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, how is that any different? You know what I mean? Secret like, sharks. For example. Well, I was thinking more like uh, bar kind of know what you're getting like that. Though. Well, like, secret sharks is you know what you're getting because they actually show you what you're yeah, getting before. Yeah, you're just buying a pack essentially. But you can you can actually like, pause you can pause your membership if you don't want that particular month, or you can even cancel it. But they will show you before, yeah. right? But I I was thinking more like you know and I was just thinking BarkBox specifically because like our dog Sadie we used to have BarkBox mm-hmm. her. But it's like you pay like thirty dollars or for six months up front or whatever, and they send you a couple of treats, a couple of this and a couple of that. That's thirty dollars worth. But then like you know you could have issues. You know what I mean? Like it, it, right. what kind of deems that? So. So here's the thing, though, is it – it depends. Are you getting $30 worth or are you not getting $30 worth? If you're That's getting $30 you worth – That's up to you as a consumer, I guess, right? Well, it's up to you as a consumer. I mean, if you're getting $30 worth, then it's not a scummy practice. You are getting what you are paying for. The thing is that with a lot of these mystery sales or whatever the case is, I don't know what you want to call like the them, mystery boxes. boxes or whatever, Yeah, is there is no – like – you don't. You're not going to get the value. First of all, you're not going to get the value that they're not telling usually. you you're going to get, unless you are a, repu- or a reputable buyer. Like they know who you are, so they're making sure you get the value. The thing is, is that yeah. everybody's a reputable buyer. Th- that's what I'm saying. Like if I went on eBay like, to buy from a from a seller a, a random box, they don't give a shit if they give me great stuff or not. But if Leonhart goes on there as Leonhart. They're probably going to make sure they give him something good because he's oh, yeah. going to push if it. If Hart goes on there, he's going to be like, "I'm quitting." <laughs> no, he's going to say, "I'm done." I'm done. But I just, you know, I don't know. I, I guess I, I, I don't care if they do go forward and start banning more of that stuff. Sometimes it's fun. I've never bought a mystery box. I have bought breaks, usually from people I kind of at least know. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I've never just gone into a random streamer's thing and, and bought any. Um, I, I have fallen to that whole like artificial thing when we used to go into Titan TCG streams 
on whatnot and think we're mm-hmm. getting great stuff. And, <laughs> you know, that's a downfall. You never know what you're getting. <laughs> but, uh, but we yeah, don't like to talk I, about that. Yeah. I mean, it feels weird to complain, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm interested. I, I think it would be interesting to see. I don't, I don't see why drip or whatnot would stop. I also don't mm-hmm. really see why eBay would particularly stop because they have the eBay That's live. Bread and butter. Butter. They're not going to stop that. Well, whatnot and drip aren't going to stop. That's that, yeah, literally that's what they all they do. But yeah. like in the case of um, in the case of eBay, they have eBay Live too now, don't they? I believe yeah. So I don't. See I, I don't stopping. think. I, I don't think them. They're going to be stopping either. But I mean, so the difference is that you do have you have certain platforms that are designed for that specifically, which is fine. But then you have stuff like Getting Twitch, pulled over and YouTube, yeah. and TikTok. They're not designed for that. They're not designed Twitter for you live. to technically like to sell, yeah, stuff on the platform. You you have you can market stuff on the platform, sponsor sure. stuff on the platform. But in fact, even on YouTube, you have to tell YouTube if a video is sponsored, like right. technically, right? So yeah. like they have their regulations and stuff like that, but. You're talking about two different things. You're talking about a streaming yeah. service that is not designed to sell versus yeah. one that is. Right. You know? Yeah. So I, mean, I don't really have a problem with like all the other, like the streaming services banning that because um, mm-hmm. that's not what they're designed for. If you want to, if you want to do breaks, cool. Go to whatnot, go to drip, do it on there. eBay. Yeah. eBay. Well, I mean, it's kind of like, like, you know, it's kind of like Instagram. I expect it to be an auction house, so I would expect like right. a live situation to actually somewhat work because right. I, I I would actually go to a live auction for an auto auction here in town. That makes sense on a live stream. That would basically be bid live, bid live. Whereas if I'm going to t- Twitch or TikTok, TikTok I'm looking for cat videos and other things. Twitch I'm looking for gamers, you know, people playing games and stuff like that. You know, that's that's not something I look at those platforms. I'm not going to go to a Twitch platform to watch somebody do a live break. I don't really look for breaks, but, you know, that's not the four platform now, I'm going to look for. Remember on yeah. Instagram, there was a really big thing back when they were doing those, like... Razzes. The Razzes, the Razzle Dazzles yeah. or whatever. Are they even <laughs> still doing those? Because yeah. the, didn't, didn't they crack down on those, though? Like... It depends. I know I still see them, but I don't really follow a lot of people that do I them anymore. I barely ever see them anymore. I, I remember my... They're like, on Facebook I used to see a lot, them. right, Ren? Yeah, Facebook. Probably. In the selling Yeah, but Facebook's mm-hmm. lawless, I think. Yeah, it's uh, still not even legal anymore. there, though. <laughs> I mean, Facebook Zuckerberg is a cesspool. Shit. Um, yeah, no, they but, just they do whatever they want to do. <laughs> so, in, so Instagram, I think, was, was cracking down on that stuff. But on top of that, like, I... I just remember it was my feed it was just, I had a yes. shit ton of them from like all yes. kinds of sellers and it was crazy. And I'm like, I'm going to be I honest. Can't handle this shit. I hate the claim post too. I don't mind them in stories mm-hmm. because you have to mm-hmm. click on the story, but I hate when you go and someone creates every single specific card they're trying to sell. And oh, it's kind of yeah. like claim and like, and you scroll and that same person pops up like 55 times when they do that. Oh yeah. God, that makes me so annoyed. Like I went through a, a unfollow spree a long time ago for that because there'd be people who only do that, you know. I've done, and I'm just I've like, done bro, that. put put it in the in the in the story or like put everything on a line one post and be like, message me for sale cl- prices or something. Like, God, I hate that stuff. But I never did any of the razzes. I almost did a couple, and I had a friend who did a razzle. bunch and got really really lucky um, mm. for like thirty five dollars back when. Uh, uh, the Hidden Fates. No, 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 no. It was the Shiny GX, Ultra Shiny GX. Uh, someone was selling uh, spots. I don't, I don't remember the breakdown, but he said for thirty-five dollars, he got a PSA ten of the Shiny Charmander, Shiny Charmeleon, and Shiny Charizard. But that's mm-hmm. because the person obviously probably sold a hundred spots. You know what I mean? Right. So made a ton of money, but one person won. Um, yeah. Which I don't know. I don't know if I think those are bad either because again it's kind of like as an adult you should know the risk you're taking and i know at least one of us in here is partake partaken in those yeah that guy 
lawless Ren know. Flanders. The, the thing is that <laughs> the thing is that it's not just the adults. So there's like we talked about, there are 100%. younger people on the platforms. You know, that's that's what's so hard. And I feel like you just gotta stick to the plat or to, yeah, stick to a platform where it's 100. percent You know, a this person is supposed to verify age and do all this stuff and. And if your kid goes through all those steps and you haven't caught on yet, then shame on you as yeah. a parent. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you know, whatnot and drip, you know? I kind of see it like, you know, like OnlyFans, right? We talked about OnlyFans, right? Like, you know that if you're, if you go to OnlyFans, there's going to be some smut or whatever the case is. But like, you kind of don't expect that from some other platforms, at least not to that degree, right? But there has to be some sort of. Yes. There has to be some sort of rule, right? Some sort of law. Like you where can't just be like loud and where they're not allowed. Put everything on the internet, yeah. you know, like you know what I'm saying? Like and and yeah. I I mean there's stuff on Instagram, and there's stuff on Twitter, and there's stuff everywhere, but they Oh yeah. There there is some sort of limit. If there wasn't yeah. a limit, then it would well, all work turn in into all the things too. Yeah. Like right. if if it's if it's going to be a clear violation of something then, you know, they remove that stuff. Right. I mean, sometimes I know they crack down on stuff that doesn't actually break the rules either, but that's, you know, different story. That's true. But, uh, but yeah, no, no, I agree. I think, I think that's, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Twitch and YouTube try to crack down on stuff. It'll be interesting to see how people get around stuff though. Because for example, let's say I I just want to go live and open packs, but then I tell someone, Oh, I'll sell you that card that I just pulled because you said you wanted it. I'll like, I'll sell it to you for $2. Like, at what point can someone be like, oh, that's a break, you know, or can they watch your content and just, you know, determine that was a break, even though it's not like it's you just mm-hmm. opening packs. But then you said you would sell this to somebody who said they wanted it. And like, you know, who would, you know what I mean? Kind of like similar concept as to what's against the rules. But like when you and I were talking in the MetaZoo chat and I was like, oh, you know, well, can we trade cards? And then they like, you know, like uh, deleted all our posts about it. And we're just like, you can't do that. Right. Like that type of thing like i don't see what's wrong with that but it'll be up to them i guess to determine those rules and like yeah. how you're you are or aren't abiding by them so we'll see i don't know the dude abides the dude abides yep <laughs> that's, right. Right. that's the transition music <laughs> going to the <laughs> Pickups of the week. <laughs> I was getting down too much on one of the Nickelodeon theme songs. I was so about I was to like, say, oh, it sounded like the Nickelodeon theme song. So that's why I had to change up the beat really fast. Um, cut who's going first? <laughs> Suit on? I guess I can go. All right, Ren. Thank, or Zen. Thanks for stepping up to the plate. Appreciate you. Yeah, thanks, thanks Ren. Trooper. Anyhow. You don't seem ready for this. You're just sitting there. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, so I got a couple of, uh, you know, since the waifus are like all, you know, huge now. And it's like, oh, my God, we got to get the waifus. So these are actually really cheap. These are like like $15. Oh, sorry. $15 and like $9. I um, wow, paid $9 for the rainbow. Shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> just because just I, I, I don't even care for the rainbows, but like I... Might as well get both. Have, I have to get both, yeah. So, um, actually, this came as actually this one came as a whole set. So this was they actually sent me the regular card too. So, hey, yeah. But um, so I got that. That was cheap, and I was like, all right, I don't mind spending a couple bucks on Ugh. on a full art trainer. Um, and then I got a box today. I picked it up from the. Uh, from the UPS store. Uh, apparently, That's they the box. stabbed yeah. it. I think they stabbed it with a knife. Nice. Had to make sure it wasn't uh, an animal. <laughs> yeah, I think they stabbed it in multiple places. Is there a dog places. in here? Stab. Yeah. Nope, not no more. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, I haven't opened it yet. I'm actually going to open it right now. This is a live opening. Oh, uh, wow. this was... What if they put a glitter bomb in there? Oh, I, hope, be I hope Gonzo. <laughs> I listen, Gonzo. Be. Listen, Gonzo. You put a glitter bomb in here. We have a problem, sir. Oh my god! Or it's just I like a box full of spiders. He opens it, and all these spiders shoot out. I swear to God, I will. Will you scream? <laughs> he would. You should have heard him pre-recording uh, a couple weeks ago. 
I hate. Can we not I talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'd uh, like to not speak about that. You're you're worse than uh, Ron is in Harry Potter with the spiders. Oh, oh yeah, he Harry, Harry Potter. Yeah, he's all like scared. Right now. <laughs> oh, Gonzo, please, please let your devious side have shown through on this. Gonzo doesn't hate me like you. Hey, yo, so. now that you say it, he's gonna send us all packages that have stuff in it <laughs> now. Like, Ooh, this is he did send us all packages, and we just haven't done the video yet. That's true. true. That is true. All right, so uh, I got a Gonzo sticker. I didn't even know he had stickers. Very cool. Yeah, he just like got that. them made. Very nice, man. Look at him with his stickers. We don't even have stickers. What kind of Mickey Mouse shop are we running around here? We're, we're, we're not slackers, good and we're um, Anyways. procrastinators. Maybe we need to get stickers or something. It's a um, whole year to figure out which platform we're going to stream on. Yeah, yeah. That's true. He sent me a, a Pokeball. Is it so I got a premium. Fans, fans got the premium ball. Yet. And uh, let's see what's inside. All right. Interesting. So he actually uh, is making candles, apparently. Uh, those are wax melts, I don't, by the way. They're, I thought you were going to eat it. Like <laughs> I kind of thought it was too. <laughs> like they're not chocolate. It's a, it's a, it's a kitty. It's like no, smelling it. It's a kitty, and then a paw. Very cute. Aww. And then like paw another flanders? paw. Mom, and then paw. another kitty. So, uh, these. This is cherry blossom scented, apparently. Very cool. Very it's got a long dingly. Yeah, you you got to trim that a little bit. Yeah, I know. That's uh, but this is actually really cool. Thank you very much, Gonzo. Appreciate it. Um, I do uh, I do light candles, so this will be nice. It does smell good. This smells better than most of the candles I own. I like it. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to be okay to put on one of those little heating that, you know, put the candles on the heat pad that, you know, instead of lighting the fire. Talking Sorry, about a you... wax melt? Yeah, no, they ha they ha it's like a, you they have little burners you can set like an actual glass candle on and it like heats yeah. everything up. Yeah, uh, I'd be it. wary of doing that because it's like aluminum. Yeah. Or whatever. I'm going to say I... no. Easy pull tabs, tabs leaves. Easy pull tab sleeves. That's right. Um, my entire life, not really my entire life, since I've been collecting and greeting, sending cards to get graded, I've always used regular sleeves, and then I've bought little post-its, like these, right? And then I put the post-its on the back of the sleeve, um, basically just so that it's easier for the, the grader to just slide it right out. And um, it's worked, you know work well however it is kind of a pain in the butt see this is how i do it and then i sure. give the like i'll put the language or whatever but i'm like um you know i wonder how much these cost and i actually found this brand on ebay uh the cardboard gold and uh they were actually fairly cheap they run um, sales from time to time too but you gotta buy like kind of a lot i bought i mean i did buy a lot i bought a thousand sleeves um, but I bet more than like fifty dollars little... worth or so because it'll be like not free shipping sometimes. That's on their site though. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, this was actually cheaper than on their site. Um, but it has a little pull tab right here, so I can just like slide a card in. Like, uh, oh, let's it's... say uh, this this Fantina. Let me see if I could actually fit that in there. Yep. There you go. So I can slide the card in, and you know, put that into the top of uh, the. You can either put it into the top loader, or you can put it into the semi-rigid. Card saver. Ah! One of these. And then just uh, just slide it in. Whoop! Very easy. And you got the little pull tab here, so when the grader is going to pull it out, they can just go here and go pull it out. You don't have to stick their finger in there and try and get the card out, and so whatever. So I figured I'd do this, since I'm going to be submitting some stuff. And... Uh, so yeah, about that. Nice. That's it. That's all I got. Nice. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, 
I, I say so. <laughs> Ren, do you want to go next? Sure. Let's do it. I received this today. White. Boom. <laughs> yes, I am. Very Ooh. Right now. Oh, nice I would like to state sticker. for the record. Uh, I would also like to thank Disgruntled, but I actually received my box of that stuff. However, I went to the UPS store to pick up the Gonzo box and something else. Look how clean that card is. Yeah, that's a that's and a as good looking soon card. as soon as I got home, I got the email from the UPS store saying that my package had arrived. I was like, God, every time, every time. Picked up one of the new uh, championship tournament decks. Hey, look at that from the winner. But these things are really cool. Like this camera is not going to do yeah. it justice, but like the sleeves and everything. Wiggle it. Pretty sweet. There it goes. Comes with like a little coin. Get the deck. Nice. Yeah, I got in. I got the four. I mean, all that for like twelve bucks or something like that was not bad. They're but well worth it. They actually go up in value, which is kind of crazy. I got I got some really good stuff here. Move this up a little bit. I bought a sample Valkyrian. Hey. See if it's gonna focus. Yes. No, Does it is. say sample on it? No. So the way you know is the on day zero stamp down here, the Z mm -hmm. connects to the E. It's not going to, I don't know if it's going to focus. But like the Z and the E don't have any kind of break in it, where mm -hmm. in the actual Kickstarter day zero product, um, there is a break in it. So that's kind of how you tell. But I got a sample Fairn, a sample Valhalla. Got the sample Falkyrian, which is my favorite nostalgic spider. And it's got like that really different foil on it, you know. The whole thing's kind of like shiny. Um it came with a couple regular Falkyrians. And I finally have my very first Void Falkyrian. Just the first edition, but I haven't nice. pulled one myself. Nice! Really oh, we can totally see hard. your single screen. Yeah. <laughs> I, you probably can, yeah. There's my light. There. No. no. It doesn't really show much. But I got these, too. I, I picked up a couple PSA 10s. Holy cow, the white is just blinding. Yeah, plus the glare from the screens and stuff. Or, sorry, screen. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> but uh i picked up a bunch of secret shard slabs in psa 10 they're all psa 10 i know you can't really tell but i promise it is a psa 10 stack of fox i got the lucky frog witch psa 10 yeah, you can kind of and the Biceptus. So I got a few PSA 10s now of Nostalgics to add to my collection. It's pretty cool. Now, are those are your first slabs for Nostalgics, or do you have other ones that you've gotten before? Um, no, I've gotten slabs already, just not from PSA. Gotcha. But Well, that's pretty cool. That is all I got for this week. I think with my next Koba submission, I'm going to do some Nostalgics cards, but I want to open some more so I have more duplicates, you know, so I have more plethora to choose from. But, yeah. I sent five cards in with some five Pokemon cards to Koba. Nice. Mine should be coming back here soon, so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, okay, last but not least. So, I got a package in uh, from the awesome Ren... He finally sent me a package full of stuff that is both new and old. He's been holding for like a year. Um, but some of the stuff that he sent was the stuff from the Collecticon. So we got I'm like actually Monsters really Glare. Surprised you got that already. I know. I know. I thought you delivered you it. You live yourself. like three blocks from him. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> That's crazy because the drive would be like 10 hours. But I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, got the Back Alley Mages Collecticon Orlando promo there. The Legions of Will. I thought this looked really cool. I like the way that like Shimmer Hollow is. Dude, um, that's a good one. I'm so torn I'm on if I actually want to open focus. these, but hey, don't tell me what to do. Uh, you got this cryptic. Um, it's uh, golly, yeah, you could tell. Pretty cool. Um, 
dudes ripping somebody in half. I'd like to say <laughs> that's how I would be, but I'm not as beastly as that guy, unfortunately. I uh, got the dream books here. I like their art style. It's pretty cool. The gameplay guru. Um, yeah. Uh, and then last but not least, the Zaba himself for Nostalgics. Um, super duper happy about those. Also, also got a package in today, which I got to send some of these out to the guys as well. But as you may have seen the episode that was so controversial and apparently got so many people's panties in a twist, uh, Disgruntled Games <laughs> sent me these Loveland Frogman promos, which look so much better Honestly, with all that hollow going around and stuff, it's almost like the like galaxy type of stuff that Zen was yeah, talking like about for Pokemon. Nice. Um, I'm a, so super excited about that. The packaging looks like something that you would find, like the little card that found in the bottom of a cereal box kind yeah. of packaging. <laughs> I was thinking that too. <laughs> not not yeah. a, that's how it looks. I mean, I it's, guess it's, it's critique. not like crazy far off from nostalgics. You know what I mean? So true yeah yeah by but, the way the, that that's called the cosmo the cosmos hollow that um let's see what else what else did i get in because i've been getting in a bunch of stuff um Way i've shown a lot prepared. of these well it's all sitting here i'm just trying to think about what i did and didn't show yet i don't think i've shown any of these off. okay so on tiktok i've been posting some cool little videos go check me out a grumpy charizard um, so I got these in, both PSA 9s. These are the Charizard UPC promos. I went with the 9s because they're super cheap in comparison to going for 10s. I'm not, because I've got like three sets of these unopened. I'm like, eh, I could probably maybe get a 10 out of some of those if I wanted to, but I'm okay with just getting 9s for what I want to buy. Um, this might hurt uh, Zen's feelings. I'm not sure if you have this graded still, but I do. You got this one, or you just got the AGS one? I have a few graded. Okay. Well, never mind. I tried to get the team up one, <laughs> and I almost got it, but I, I shit the bed on that one. I'm kind of sad. Um, I know I knew you were then, trying to hurt my feelings there, but it didn't work, buddy. Hey, I wasn't trying to, but also I got yeah. this really cheap. I had seen it. I just got into looking at some of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, I thought this was really cool. Uh, they were running it super cheap on eBay, so that's why I was like, eh, cool, you know, AGS-10. Nobody likes I know Trump. there's, I know there's, uh, this is Gotenks, so. Same thing. Um, but I know it's AGS and they have their issues. Not at all. I was like, eh, you know what I mean? Like, I'll just, I'll just go for it. It was super cheap, so I don't really care. Um, hmm. Also, got these in Z-Mail today, too. Um, some of those art rares. Uh, from V-Star Universe, super cheap. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to run those, um, get those. And I've been on this quest, as you may have seen my tweet or whatever, but I'm trying to get all these different Charizards now. So this is uh, the Radiant Zard from the V-Star Universe. Um, this is the Japanese one. I want to get the Chinese one and the Thai, but it's, you know, you're just going to go down so that are path. are you chasing and... them in every language too? All right, I if they were cheap enough, yes, I would love to be like, man, like look at this Radiant Zard page, and it's you know every language they made it in. Realistically, that's not going to happen because um, I, I kind of just want to collect all of the Charizards. You know what I, I mean? have so some gonna... Russian Charizards. <sighs> Let's talk, buddy. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I got this Japanese uh, the V Star. So uh, this is from obviously V Star Universe, the one. That I showed you graded from the UPC collection box. Um, these uh, the Japanese ones I feel like are, are sort of must have if you're going to go for foreign language. Um, so you know, of course, that's just me. Don't let me influence you on what to do with your money. Um, then, so as you guys may or may not know, J Rob's Pokey Talk uh, on Instagram. He does some content. Really cool dude in the community. Okay. Um, I've never heard a bad thing about him. Um, this dude hit me up and basically was like, hey, I got some extras if you want to work a deal. And I was like, let's talk. So I check that out. Nice. I, cool. I, I can't even I can't even believe this is in my collection. Like, 
I would have I I could see getting the rainbow because it's the rainbow it's a nice Venus Venusaur card. They're they're not <laughs> as expensive, but the alt art one, I'm just like, holy shit, man! I, can't I mean, the it. rainbow and the rainbow and the V are pretty easy to get. I think I got a couple of them. But Each. yeah, the well, I mean, I could have I didn't open much, so obviously the whole like you know chance of pulling it is super low. Then I've got the V, the regular V, so this one. Um, but do you have the shiny one from Hidden Fate yet? <sighs> no. It's on the list, man. It's on the list. It's it's lower tier compared to what the first edition shadow is. My be, offer these... still stands. I don't want to pay four hundred dollars. <laughs> That's what he Look. offered me for the Cynthia tens. Look, I just this is insane. I can't believe it. Um, I also got another package for well, same package from Ren. Had a bunch of cards. Um, so, you know, a bunch of Steelers cards he sent me. Um, I asked for that Najee Harris. We didn't. We, I don't know that wasn't in the package, though. I know. I have a. I have a whole stack of other football cards. I got to go through too. To be and, fair, so. though, that's one. If you if you were looking to possibly like keep any to flip, I would keep that one to flip. Um. So oh, no, I don't. You know. I'm not a scalper. I, know, don't, I, don't, care. I but don't care about that. Last but not least, um, coming up, there's going to be some sort of thing. I don't know if I'm allowed to actually reveal them yet. That's why I'm showing them this way. But Disgruntled Games sent me a package, and it collect, blah, 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 contains packages for all the guys, so I got to send those out. Um, but yeah, we got we got some cards, and I'm telling you what, Chef's Kiss to James and Brittany, they did a great, great job on these cards. I'm super excited to uh, show these off soon. I know KFC wins, uh, who me and Zen were on his show um, over this past week, and I, I doubt by this time of this going live that the other two will have been on, but they may soon. Um, he got a bunch, and he's going to do a whatnot stream on the 18th, I think at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to tune in to potentially win some disgruntled games cards, um, check out his whatnot stream. I think he's starting all the packs off at like a dollar, and he's not trying to make them go too expensive. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, yeah disgruntled games. Uh, for those of you that are meta poo fans, you know, if you get pissy about it, I don't really care. Um, this stuff looks amazing. The cards look so good. Um, so I'm really excited to see where that goes, um, and potential future sets and stuff. Um, so that'd be really cool. But that is all the pickups I have. Yep. You didn't have nice. anything done? Uh, the only thing I have is I bought this $10 coffee maker from Walmart to, uh, mess up my stomach. There you go. Do you put creamer in it? This is the creamer that I've been using. <laughs> so, yes. Is that supposed That's to be refrigerated? Creamer. I no. just took it out of the fridge. In yes. The time it's... Okay. I just took it out of the fridge a minute ago to make this hours. cup of coffee that it was sitting out all day. Okay, okay but buy nice. that that brand, but buy Italian sweet cream. It's so good. Oh, you have the Italian uh, sweet This is the kind... Uh, this is cinnamon vanilla creme. That so, actually sounds pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It is... <laughs> Actually, I don't need to put any sweetener in, so I'm like, all right. Yeah. What brand? Yeah, of coffee usually if you get those, or I guess is it oh. a flavor? Don't ask him that. No. Don't ask no. him that. It's, it's the all best right. part of waking up with folders in your, in your cup. cup. <laughs> French vanilla. Oh, the French wow. vanilla. Because I that's, that's don't know, and when you get into the coffee aisle, you just sit there going. Not. I know. I when I worked at a grocery store and I had to stock it, you could imagine trying to figure it out. And then you got people coming up in there. Where's this specific <sighs> flavor of this specific brand? And I'm like, hey, those things you came up and followed yourself up with, these things, these lookers you got. Why don't you do the same thing, man? I don't know coffee, so that used to. I, I just went in there and I said, just, I want my death wish, and then I grabbed it and I bought it and I walk out. Yeah, there's. I'm just looking for a more cost-effective way of not having to buy all these at two dollars a piece, you know. And uh, there's a cat. God. Oh my gosh, that cat just shit its pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Metaphorical he's like, pants. Me. He's literally no. looking at us like, "Help me, guys." He. Uh, this is meowth. He's always like that, though. All yeah, right. Well, anyways. thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this week's episode let us know in the comments what you thought make sure you like this video subscribe if you haven't uh the Go send it to your enemies ren's uh, As, second uh... monitor and zen's <laughs> happiness is coming soon uh, Go fund me. <laughs> yeah, send, send um, it to your enemies yeah post you this know, in the metazoo chat i don't know 
I almost don't even want to go for a second monitor now just to see how long this will go on. You're cheating yourself out of the future. Yeah, you're really hurting yourself. I almost want a third yeah. monitor because I'm just like, holy shit, the possibilities. <laughs> I want, if monitor? I had it my ways, I'd have monitor, 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 monitor. Well, I mean, I can't yeah, do we, like above and below. Run I got a spaceship my over there. Funko wall thing right here, so I can't do that. You could at least well, get two twenty-two inches the, or something. Like I could, but then the I gotta desert. move my three D printer away because I have it. How big is right the monitor? Here. You could. Uh, oh, never mind. How, how big is the monitor you're operating on? If you say less than twenty-seven. No, it's at twenty-seven. <sighs> All right, at least it's a big screen, I guess. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was waiting for him to be like, ah, like a nineteen. Yeah. Like I've, got and a, a half I've got an inch. It's a 15 inch monitor. It's not a wide screen. It's this big. A monitor. It's just a laptop. Like, my parents yeah. legit have like a 15 inch monitor. It's just one of those squared ones. It's not even wide screen. <laughs> when I first started no, playing Xbox Live, I we didn't have Wi Fi. So I had to connect straight from the router or whatever, or modem or whatever. And I only had like a six foot cable. So I had to play on a nine inch portable TV. It's hard to snipe yeah. people on Halo 3 on Dude, a 9 inch TV. I beat the original God of War in, in God mode on a small screen like that. It had the VHS in the bottom of it. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just over here. I'm in like 360p. Like, I didn't have nothing going for me. It was terrible. <laughs> All right, well. We're gonna we're gonna derail the derail train even more and uh say thank you guys this all ain't again. Ohio. and uh you're right. We're better than Ohio. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll see you guys Gonzo. next week. Peace. Peace out. Later. Taco Later. Supreme tuna fish sandwich from Subway.